Hello? <laughs> There's already so many of you in here. Hi! Uh, hello, I'm Katie, just so you know. My, my name's Katie. I, I am I am Katie today. <laughs> um, hi Katie, hi Josie, hi Ski, hi Cheese, hi Mellow. Hello, Sapphire. Hello, my favorite they them. Hello, Nate. Hello, Butterbean. Ah, uh, who else? Did I get everyone? Hi, Sapphire. I think I got everyone. I think I get everyone. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for calling me Katie. I very much appreciate it. Hi! Hi, second mother! Hello. Um, I'm talking a little bit sooner than I usually do. Usually I let it go five minutes, but um... No, I'm impatient. I'm really, really excited about this drawing. Um, I haven't done a three color challenge in quite some time. And it's been a while since I did a traditional art stream, so hello. Hi. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? I hope you all are good. And you know what else I can do? You, 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 know, you know what else I can, you, you know what else I can do? We, we can watch TikToks together. We can, uh, stay... <laughs> we can, we can stay distracted and watch TikToks together. <laughs> oh, damn, traditional art, yeah. I know it's been a minute since I did it. Um, I am going to be recording a TikTok at the same time, so... Um, it's good that I have my phone available, it's pretty nice. The phone is out this early, I know. And so are the cat meows, apparently. That emote is still in progress. But not only am I getting an emote, no, 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 I am also getting another PNG tuber model. Um, it's not going to be a main one, it's going to be one that I switch to or use on occasion because it's going to be by the same person who does my emotes. I'm excited. Wow. This is the quality content I want. Yes, I, I low-key really would like to do a <laughs> TikTok react stream or like watching TikToks together. I think it would be kind of fun, but the problem is, meow, half of my- meow, meow. <laughs> uh, Half of my TikTok for you page at the moment is nothing but the TikTok shop, which is really annoying and I'm over it. I, I'm over it. Like, I, I am supportive of small businesses. That's not what I have the issue with. It's that it's my entire for you page. <laughs> And it's not even just small businesses, it's also drop shippers. Like, <laughs> mm, drives me nuts. It's driving me nuts. I wish they would just make a separate tab for it for people who want to look at TikTok shop stuff. I don't want it on my For You. Anyway, that's not why we're here. We're here because <laughs> we, are, we aren't here to listen to me rant. We are here to watch me do a three marker challenge. And I have my markers behind me so I can't see where I am reaching however I am going to allow myself one thing I am going to allow myself a single uh, quote-unquote skin color or earth tone color uh, because I can <laughs> I, uh, I am making my own rolls here so it's time to choose colors first of all I'm holding these out this way where I cannot see. Not allowed. I don't care. And I got R19 out of this pack. I just pulled randomly. I am also going to be using a colorless blender, so I pulled that one out. And just so you know, it's a colorless blender. There you go. There you go. You can see the zero. <laughs> I, I'm doing it anyway. I'm, I'm doing it anyway. So that is my first color. R19 is really light. Isn't it? It's so close. <laughs> Look how pale it is. Hi, I love the drawing. Thank you. Uh, oh, by the way, everybody, a little, <laughs> a little self-promotion here. You can find this drawing and many, many, many more in the new coloring book I have coming out in October. So if you like what you see, go ahead. Let me get my other two colors here. I got, okay, I'm actually not mad about that, R10. Pastel pink. And my last color. I'm like digging way into the bottom here. Ah, my arm is dislocated. 
Uh, is the coloring book available in the UK? Yes. There is an Amazon UK link. And the last color, which I really wanted a blue, but whatever. It's deep red. Actually, those colors probably will work quite well together. Uh, so she's a very, <laughs> she's giving me a very ready, pinky piece. Um, so to show you the colors on here that I have, I got R19, which is right, right, right there. I got R10, which is a very vibrant, like neon-y pink. And the other one I got was a deeper R4. So those are the colors that I'm going to be using. I do want to make a little, where's my bookmarks? Oh, and if I, fi if I finish coloring this one early, I do have a backup piece that I can color. This was just done with pen. Um, oh, hello, Madam Kitty Cat. Hello, hello, welcome in. Yay, you made it. Happy to visit the stream. Welcome on in. It's always great to have new people show up. Lucky Charm 101, thank you for the follow. Welcome to my cosmos. Definitely gonna buy the coloring book. Yes. I'm so excited about it. Also, um, I think I'm gonna use two colorless blenders. One is going to be for laying down my color. Like, I'm gonna lay down a basic colorless blender early, like ahead of time, because I don't know how these colors are all gonna work together. I mean, they're probably gonna work fine. It's literally like a peachy color, a pink and a red is what my draw was. And I'm kind of mad about it in a way because earlier I was just doing like random draws and I kept getting blues and pinks or blues and purples. Of course, now I just get red and pink. I, I mean, I wouldn't be mad with a pink. It's a little bit on the vibrant side for what I use, but it's fine. I can work with it. The red, it's not my first choice. But hello. <laughs> As I was saying, two colorless blenders. I need to figure out where the other one is. Hello. I don't know why I didn't grab it ahead of time. <laughs> oh, I put it away. Dang it. Okay, different brand of colorless blender. Let's go. Um, we're gonna use this one. This is also zero. It's by a different brand, Ardex. But I'm using mostly Hoo Hoo. It'll work. It's fine. They work together. So one will be to lay down a base layer of. <laughs> so many drills already. One will be to lay down a base of colorless blender ahead of time to help blend the colors together. And then the other one's going to be for my tip to tip blending method. Get your minds out of the gutters right now. I know how it sounds, but I promise it's not. <laughs> I do want to get a color chart up to the side. So say goodbye to this color chart. I don't need it for the time being. All right. We got a decent chunk of people in the stream. People prefer my traditional art. And I also was kind of promoting it a little bit more so than usual. Um, I'm gonna move her so I can do this on stream. We love my dirty silicone mat. If you ever wonder how I don't get ink onto the next page, a hoo hoo has silicone mats. So this is my first color. That's just like layered and not layered. My second color is this red, which is so intense. I'm working on a space girl and there's no blue. <laughs> uh, how can I send art through the stream? So I see everybody's art via my Discord. There is a special channel in my Discord called Share Your Art. And that's how I see it. Okay, these are the colors I have to work with. Oh my God, you can't even see. <laughs> Hello, exposure. Hang on, let me try to turn down my exposure. There we go. So those are the colors I'm working with. And of course we have my drawing. You're gonna be learning quite a bit about how I work with markers this stream. So first off, um, I am going to be starting off with the tip to tip, tip method almost immediately. My gosh, it's so dark now. But it was so washed out before, okay. I hate it here. <laughs> My screen hates me. I think it was just too dark 
for it to pick uh, pick everything up. Okay. Uh, Nate sent it via stream element? Wait, what? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Discord link is right above your chat there. It's the stream elements and then HTTPS Discord. You can do exclamation mark Discord, exclamation mark book, exclamation mark throne, and those are like the different things. So I'm starting off with the skin, quote unquote, color, like her skin color is what I'm using. Um, and I'm doing the tip to tip method right off the bat. I do want, I'm going to be opening so many markers. Oh my gosh. But I want to lay, so this is what I do for the tip to tip method. I literally touch the two marker tips together. Um, and I let some of the ink from the deeper color, or the, like this, this color here, because I want to use uh, dark to light. I'm letting some of the ink flow into the tip of the colorless blender. And these do go back to normal at the end, by the way. So don't worry too much about it. Uh, this is going to work especially well because these are brand new markers. I literally just got these <laughs> markers in the mail the other day. So there we go. I love the pink and red together though. They do look really nice together. I will give you that, but, um, <laughs> they are not super duper spacey. Now I am laying down a base of colorless blender and this will help to blend my colors together a little bit. Oh wait, I can keep some of that color on her lips. I've been doing so many tutorials for YouTube at this point. <laughs> Not even just YouTube, it's for TikTok, because I post it to TikTok first, because that's where I get my copyright free or commercial music. Um, I'm going to work space by space, because I don't want the colorless blender to like completely dry. I am completely saturating the paper with it going to be using a lot of colorless blender on this. <laughs> You've been cranking them out. I know. And I have another two ready to go. So I'm figuring my light source is going to be the same place that I always put it, which is over here. So my shadows are going to be over on the other side. If you ever wonder how I go about planning where I put my colors and everything. I really do need to experiment with special lighting a little bit more. But look, I'm, <laughs> I'm scared. And yes, I like turning puns or turning my name into puns. Um, it is okay if I run out of my ink partially through. As you can see, the tip has gone back to normal. So I'm going to grab that skin tone color again, and I'm just going to repeat the process. <laughs> I don't really have to show it on stream, but I'm going to. Also, a fun plug for her too. Next Thursday, I believe, there will be a stream that friends and such will be featuring her Minecraft server. Yeah, uh, that's actually this Thursday. This coming Thursday, I'm going to be doing a Minecraft stream with friends where I torture them in a warden maze. And I also will show the perspective that they've see but I'm doing it in god mode fight me <laughs> um because I am too much of a scaredy cat so I just got a text from the other owner for the minecraft server <laughs> this method is I, I only use this tip to tip blending method if I absolutely have to it is not the ideal process <laughs> for working with marker or blending or anything, but uh, did you experience it once? I think you did. I did go into the maze at one point, completely survival, no <laughs> god mode or anything, and I was absolutely horrified. But even in god mode, I experienced the lighting shifts and it's terrifying just in god mode he doesn't hurt me that's it that's the only difference
otherwise I experience all the other same things. Um, he even comes after me and all. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I haven't done one of these challenges in so long. Kiara, please. <laughs> I love you, but please, <laughs> my phone keeps vibrating. I'm so tempted to look at it. Uh, oh, really? I didn't know you did. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did it on my own time. <laughs> we were just bullied. I, I, okay, look, my love language is bullying my friends, but... I do want my friends to know, if you are not comfortable with, like, playful bullying, do let me know and I will refrain from doing so. Because I understand it's not everybody's, not everybody's thing. I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> oh, that might have been a mistake. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna throw this extra color down here onto her neck because I need the marker to change back to normal like right now. Um, this is why I usually, you know what? I can use down here because it's just gonna get cropped anyway. I'm gonna clean off the marker just a little bit to do some blending adjustments on her nose and her face and everything. Oh, 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 here we go. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I do just want to let you all know, I've shown it previously, but even after you do that tip to tip blending method, the color does eventually go back to normal. The longer you hold your marker, like, your darker marker over the lighter one depends on how long the blend will last. So I'm trying to be careful and make it not last too long on this because everything is kind of a small surface and it's easier to go back and cover something up than it is to, you know, uh, <laughs> wait, what, what, what was I saying? It's easier to go back and keep getting darker. It's not easy to get lighter again. That's what I'm trying to go for. I can always go darker. I cannot go lighter. I'm trying to save points. I can't. I need the meows. You know, there is a 15,000 point redeem for like custom, custom drawing, like a little doodle. I do have that. Oh, I'm not going to be able to go dark with her skin at all and it's going to drive me nuts. I usually have such a deep shadows and I don't even have colors where I can really do that. She's going to have like super duper pale skin which is fine relatable but like dude <laughs> I might have to play around with a little bit I mean that looks good I'm not gonna deny that it looks fine yeah it's painful I used to be at like 8k but the trolling always tempts me too much if that's fair I don't blame you for the shadow thing. Yeah. Yeah. I want to add my shadows. I can't add my shadows with these colors. Even a blue. Like, honestly, I kind of wish I got a blue. Because I could have worked with shadows with that. I can't do it with this. This is going to be a very, very light piece. Oh, it's going to be gonna be so strange. I don't know how to work with this. I can always, uh, I also 
I have this on my computer so I can always color her however I want later on but for now I also don't know if saturating really helped too much but I'm gonna do it again seemed to work fine on the neck without saturating the area in colorless blender first but just for safety or just in consistency I guess gonna do it again dum, dun, dum. I haven't okay I started playing Animal Crossing but then I stopped playing and I haven't touched it for like five days maybe longer <laughs> it might have been closer to a week now okay we're gonna work with this Oh, that might not have been enough. That's okay. I can always go darker. Or, you know what? It's probably because I laid down the colorless blender. Never mind. That's probably why it's that color. Tiny circular motions until the end. Is everybody out for summer now with school? Like, I don't know if school's still in session or not. Can I go even darker right here? Not much. You know what I could probably do at the end? I can go in with pen. Like, yeah, the coloring's gonna be done entirely with uh, three colors. But at the end, I could go in with pens and just add some extra oomph to this. I think I might do that. I can still use only pink, red, and like a tan color, but that might help bring it together a little bit more. Uh, I think it was over. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it is, but I don't, I don't know. Oh my gosh, this whole <laughs> blending process takes so long. Uh, depends on if we are talking about college or school. College here is over, school is another two weeks here. Hmm. I know some seniors are already out. So, I mean, probably depends on the age too, or like the grade. But I'm gonna saturate with the chisel. Can you hear it? Do you get at least a little bit of ASMR? I don't know. I really, really wish that um, I didn't speed up some of my videos because then I could just have the raw audio of the marker on the paper. I know some people are really into that, but alas, I've just speed up a lot of my content. Not a lot of it. Like... Um, I think that my marker picked up some pink that was left on my silicone mat, which is fine and all. I'm using that color anyway, but, <laughs> um, excuse me. I decided not to go all the way to the edge because I'm going to have the deepest color there anyway and the arm is a large surface. So I figure if I go away from the edge a little bit, maybe I can save some room just for the dark color. I do have to say it is a little bit easier to work with the colorless blenders when it's a lighter color versus a darker color because let me tell you trying to 
use a dark color with a colorless blender does not usually go well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, there's pink. Well, I guess you can't see it, but I, I can totally see it. It's like more intense. That's annoying. But it's fine. It gets covered up by the skin. I'm wondering how absolutely dark I can go with this. How many times can I layer until it's like super obviously shadows? I haven't been recording. I haven't been recording any of this. I meant to be recording at least a video. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's fine. Um, I can start now, I guess. It's... It is what it is. <laughs> oh shoot. I know. I know, Nate. Trust me, I know. I can't believe. Oh my gosh, wait, you're, you're making me do reps? Oh no, do I have my... Okay, I don't have my weight by me, so I'm going to be using my full water bottle. <laughs> it's about the same weight. Um, I forgot that I had that on there. Okay, one, two, three... Four. Listen to the glug of the water. Five. Six. I cannot hydrate at the same time. Seven. Eight. <laughs> nine. Ten. Okay, that's one arm. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Okay. Now I will hydrate. Hi, Peachy. I saw you do the troll alert or troll redeem, so sorry you didn't get me. How are you today? I am doing all right. I woke up at 7.30 a.m. and immediately got to business meow. making some content. Meow. Meow. No. Okay. I had a lid in my mouth. I should probably not put that in my mouth. Time to saturate the skin. Oh great, I'm gonna love hearing that back later when I'm actually like putting this video together. <laughs> How are you today, Grace? I hope you are doing well. And hello, Peachy. I hope you actually got some sleep. If not, I am going to come over there and I am going to knock you away a sail. <laughs> oh, you say I'm cute right as I say that. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Actually, sh should I show a little... Uh, oh my gosh, I don't- I can't record a video- oh wait, yeah I can. I'm stupid. I can literally just- Oh, it's not focused on my markers. My phone wasn't focused on my markers. Damn it. I tried. I tried my bestest. I tried so hard and got so far. Kara time. Hi, Luma. Hello. Yes, I am working on a three color challenge with markers. And I'm also advertising my coloring book at the same time. It's great. There we go. She is... Oh, so pale. But that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna change that. 
Because now I'm going to do the same thing. <sighs> I'm wondering if I should do a test. I need a spare sheet of paper to do tests on. In the end, it didn't even matter. Okay, let me steal a page from the back of this. This will be my tester page. Because so I want to see if this is going to work first. Oh my gosh, I've been recording the whole time <laughs> with my phone. I have a whole like minute of absolutely nothing going on on that. Um, um. Okay, I don't really want a whole lot because I'm going to be doing her blush. Oh yeah, see that's intense. But I think I got it to a point where I'd be okay with it. I don't want too much. I can layer up, I can't take away. It doesn't really even show up. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> don't want too much. Uh, Kara, whenever you get a chance, check Discord. Okay. I will try momentarily. Let me just get some blush on her ear. Or attempt to get blush on her ear. Okay, that works. I know you all can't really see it, but I promise it's there. Um, I wonder if my phone will show it better. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, you can kind of see it on my phone. You can see the blush. <laughs> There's an attempt. <laughs> okay, uh, let me check Discord, because Peachy told me to check Discord. Oh, does it? Here, let me... I have it on a different surface. It's just right next to my thing. <laughs> my table was kind of touching the other furniture item I had it on. Bum. Bum, bum. Bum. Okay, let's try making this blush a little bit better, maybe. Is it okay for it to be super intense? I don't see why it can't be super intense. I mean, it's very intense over on that cheek. So I'm going to have to adjust it on the other one. I'm intensifying the blush because what's the point of blush if you can't see it like a mile away I might have to go in with skin color just, like her skin tone just to buff it out a little bit because oh my gosh I mean, I know a joke about saying it a mile away, but this is this is a bit a bit intense. Maybe maybe it's just a little bit. Put that marker cap on. Uh, how long do you take on a piece on average? It really varies. Um, by now, I would probably be almost done with the skin normally, like on a traditional piece anyway. Um, well. It does depend. If I'm recording, it takes quite a bit longer than if I'm not recording. 
I don't know if that's just the colorless blender being super duper dark right now or if I accidentally picked up on a different color. It's really, really hard to tell. Oh wow, that pink might be a bit much. It's a very vibrant pink. Very, very vibrant. So I was not kidding. <laughs> I'm going to try doing her lips. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if I can mix colors. Like if I do, if I do red on the pink, just a little bit. Oh, well I put the wrong lid on that cap. <laughs> good, good, thank you, great. Well, that didn't really do what I was expecting it to. Uh, I didn't even answer your question fully. I am so sorry. I am distracted sometimes. Um, so it depends. If I am doing a traditional artwork, it can really take anywhere from, I don't know, um, at the shortest, maybe two hours if it's a really, really small piece that I sketched out and immediately colored and didn't do line art for. I'm gonna try layering. What if I layer this quote-unquote skin color, her like peachy skin color over top of the lips a little bit. It's making me so sad I can't do super dark colors. Oh my gosh, Winnie! Why are you making me ooh-woo? I'm only 40 minutes into the stream. Ooh-woo? Shut up, that pink is so poppin', I love it. It's a very vibrant pink. It's one that I don't usually use. Uh, some streams, uh, some streams digital pieces can, pieces can get between sketch phase and line art, so in the four hours of stream, but mind you, that's with a lot of chat talking, so she could probably complete, like, complete a piece in four to six, depending on the piece, without chat's help. Without chat's help. Clip it and ship it, boys. Oh, my God. Do you know how many people have clipped my uwus? <laughs> That's a very popular clip. I don't know if I'm vibing with the lip color, but I have no choice. Oh, no, the eyes. This is where I definitely am going to be going back and adding details. <laughs> you know what? I might just say screw the video because uh, I can I can do a different form of video. I even have two phones here. I have my old phone because I charged it in case I needed needed it for anything. I don't think I'm gonna need it for anything. I'm just gonna focus less on recording any videos and more on the actual drawing process. We love you, I swear. Thanks. <laughs> You're only here for my oo-woos. Oh, 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 marker talk for a second. Or art, art marker talk. <laughs> so I was testing some brushes on Clip Studio earlier and I came across some brushes that really made my art look like it was colored traditionally, but in a digital form. And I thought it was really cool. So I'm excited to do some more digital art streams where I get to experiment with that a little bit. Because it's pretty exciting. And I was able to color relatively fast. Not like super fast. But I was able to get something down. Should I add a little bit of blush on her nose? I'm going to add blush on her nose. I can't not add blush on her nose. She needs blush on her nose. Oh look, I already got some red on there. I forgot what I was doing for a second. <laughs> it's gonna have some, okay, I don't want it to be intense right off the bat. Oh, hi, it's intense right off the bat, okay. I even started wiping it on my test paper just, just 
so it wouldn't do that. She looks like a little bunny. That piece is beautiful. Uh, yeah, I mean, I did color that same one traditionally already. But I was just looking for one to kind of mess around with. And that's the one I ended up grabbing. She looks like a little bunny. I really love this piece. Like the, the, the line art and everything for her. No such thing as too much plush. Now you're speaking my language. I mean, it's just a little bit too much on the drawing because she's so pale. But you're speaking my language. I want to pull out my pens. Where are my pens? My thought was I could use this tan one, a red one, and a pink one one and that's it but what pink probably this one I don't know if I have a better pink in here I'm digging through my pens and of course I can use a white jelly roll pen because that's my detail one I'm gonna use a black one just to work on her eyes a little bit because the line art is black but yeah I don't think I have a better but wait 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 that might be a better pink pen yeah. <laughs> this is a better pink pen. So I'm going to be using these three because these are like my three colors over here. And that's all I can use. Uh, oh, man. Oh, it didn't show the hydrate. I see the hydrate. I will hydrate, Moo. I can see it. I was just digging through my pen bag at the time. Oh. My water bottle just squirted in my face. How dare you? Okay, let's add, I think I'm gonna do her brows real quick with this pen. May or may not regret it. <laughs> but I am picturing, obviously I have no other choice, but I'm picturing a, oh, ooh, I could give her, no, if I do the, skin tone that I chose for her. Um, I was thinking for a second that I could make her like a natural peachy blonde. But then I realized that might clash with the skin color I gave her. So I'm not gonna do that. As much as I would really like to. Red hair. It's going to be probably red to pink. That's what I'm env envisioning. Her shirt, I'm going to make it look as white as possible. But I can only go so <laughs> white with the colors. So I'm probably going to end up using the same pink that I used uh, up here. I'm also not liking, there's like a very harsh line on her face. I'm going to try I'm gonna... attempting to fix it, but I don't know that it will. I might have to just give her freckles or something to cover that up because there's a very harsh line <laughs> on her nose. That almost looks like she has a little button nose. So like, I guess it kind of works, but I probably will end up giving her freckles anyway because I like freckles and fight me so I have a little pink to red situation going on with her brows which is going to match her hair perfectly and I'm not saying that because I love cats I don't have a cat here um for her eyes. I mean, I have no other choice. It's gonna look wild at first. <laughs> I 
gonna give her these like a bright red eyes to match her bright red and pink lipstick that matches her bright <laughs> red and pink brows that's going to match her bright red and pink hair <laughs> um what inspired your art style i am inspired by many 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 things so i started off drawing in an anime-esque kind of art style and over time i added some realism aspects to it hence the detailed hair and the more like realistically shaped nose and lips and all that um i was inspired by different shows like steven universe and sailor moon and those types of things which would um, understandably tie in the anime as aspect um i was inspired heavily by a user by the name of miss carrie j on youtube she was probably my biggest inspiration when it came to my style, my current style. Now I am going to add, or attempt to add, a little bit of a pen shadow there. Just add something. I'm hesitant to do that on her face. <laughs> Dang it, she needs some more shadows. So I'm using cross hatching to try and replicate shadows and kind of regretting it already. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. Kind of, sort of, regretting <laughs> what I did. She's going to be a crazy piece. She's going to be interesting, that's for sure. I'm going in with my brush marker again to try and soften up those lines. So they aren't so intense because right now they are intense. Usually what I do when I use microns is like if I'm inking with them, I will take a kneaded eraser and I will dab over top of my pen lines. And what that does is it lifts up the excess ink that would otherwise smear. But I'm kind of using that to my advantage here by not using the kneaded eraser to pick up the extra ink. Because by doing so, I'm kind of smearing the pen ink just a smidge. And it creates a softer effect. She is certainly going to be a crazy piece. Okay, okay, I'm kind of liking it a little bit more now. Like the, the shadows. I was a little insecure about it at first. Um, but it definitely adds a little bit of spice. And I don't typically do this with my drawings. The one nice thing about this type of a challenge is it's allowing me to try new things. And doing this like dark line reminds me of what digital artists do with the dark line right around the shadows. So you know it works out. Which 
just a subtle one right here. I might regret that one. The nose shadows are always very hit or miss for me. Kind of works. But now I'm looking back at this under shadow and I'm not quite as impressed with it. That's one way to ruin your marker. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. It's fine. It's not ruined, but my gosh, it could have been. There we go. It's coming together slowly but surely. Three color challenges for the win. Oh my gosh. I need stabilization in real life. That line was so wobbly. So I'm just doing this now anywhere where I feel like there would be a shadow, even a subtle one. Her eyes are looking wild. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus a little bit on the eyes real quick. Oh my gosh, it is so hard to see from this angle. But I'm filling in her actual eyeliner first with the black pen because when I print out my line arts, I notice that they kind of lighten up on the ink all, all together. So rather than being a really nice saturated black like I am used to, it's more of a deep gray. I'm kind of excited to see how this ends up looking at the end. These are always a real big trust the process type of a thing. Freckle time. Gets freckles. Freckles. Everywhere. All over your face. All over your face. Not just in one space. Can't even see them on this. <laughs> or maybe you can. I don't know. Now let me try. You can subtly see them. She's looking cute. Yeah. She's very cute. The only thing I'm kind of regretting right now is this shadow under her chin. So I don't really know how I'm going to make this look better. The only thing I know how to do is I made the shadow even darker where I initially had the shadow and then I have the actual like lighter shadow which is supposed to match her face. And I'm gonna add these like fully saturated shadows into her ears too where it's super dark. Or just super dark areas. <laughs> So that way it kind of fits in and it's not super random. Yeah, I think that'll work. Seven. Let's focus on her arms and get some shadows on her arms. 
Now this I'm a little <laughs> a little scared of. I really want to play Minecraft right now. I know it's not the time. But dang it, I would love to play right now. I'm still coming up with ideas for my bedroom in that, on that server. Oh my gosh. Uh, the other thing I want to do, and I have it already, is I bought a white box, and I would show you it, but it is across the room. And it kind of has a papery texture to it. So I thought it would be fun to draw on and decorate my own box. So that's something else I have planned right now. Uh, I finished my cat slash dog Starbucks for the most part on Minecraft. Hey, if you want any help with it, let me know. Like if you want to, if, if you feel like it needs something, but you don't know what, I am always willing to be an eye and let you know. Also, did you make that, that one blue and green house where you walk in and you're, you're like blinded by the lime? Because I feel like that should be called Blinded by the Lime. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a Blinded by the Light, but Blinded by the Lime. Because, oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about leaving the little light part for the elbow. Not sure if I like that right now or not. I guess I can't really fix it super easy, so it's staying. Okay, focusing back on her eyes. Okay, this I'm gonna need to pull a little bit closer. I feel like I always misplace the pupils and it makes me upset because I can't really fix it super easy. I can digitally. I have no excuse digitally because I can literally move them. I think that looks fine. Yeah, that looks good. Wait, what? Yeah, I love that. Welcome to Blinded by the Lime, where you too can taste the lime. You're more than tasting it. You're surrounded in that. Yo, I'm blinded by the lime? What? I tried making lime jello today using their quote-unquote quick method that they have on the back of the box. And I'm just going to say right now that was a mistake. I don't know what I did wrong, but I did something wrong because there's just a layer of liquid at the top. So I'm never making it that way again. I want Jello now. I'm offended. Jello is really good. I only well, okay. For the most part, I only eat lime and orange Jello. I'm weird like that, but yeah. Okay, for her hair, I'm just going straight in with this red color. Um, I'll have to add shadows probably the same way I did with the skin, where I kind of used the cross-hatching method. That's the plan anyway. 
So I'm going to do red first. I must admit I might be able to layer it. I don't know. That is such a pretty red. And before anybody says it's pink, it's not pink. This is a cooler red. It is very much a red. Because <laughs> I had that issue before when I used a red like this. It was called pink. And it's not pink. It's a red. I promise thee. Oh wait, where's her little, okay, there's the little hook for her planet ear, planet, planet ear, planet earring. Why did I get zero notifications that you're live? I don't know. Because you hate me and you ignore my notifications. No, I'm kidding. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I already chose the colors and I've gotten this far thus far. How dare slander. It's slander that you were not in here. Okay. You slandered yourself. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna go in with the pink now. Like I said, not colors that I would usually choose, but... <laughs> uh, a wild Threadwing has appeared. Threadwing, use art. Threadwing, use mod powers. <laughs> Ooh, what if I did, like... Ooh, wait, you know, I have an idea. I'm gonna try layering real quick. Also, does it sound like when I'm working, does, does my mic keep getting hit? Or did I fix the issue, hopefully? Because I guess there for a bit, it sounded like I kept hitting my mic, which I don't intend to, but with where it's located, it... Ooh. Oh, I could have made, like, a lighter red color. Stop. Oh, I'm stupid sometimes. That's a really nice blushy color. That's so pretty. Oh. Uh, unfortunately, I can't be here much longer either. Impromptu barbecue happening in a couple hours. Also, you still have King of the Castle overlay active? Oh, do I? Um, hang on. Let me configure my overlays for a second. Oh my gosh, I totally do. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Extensions. Let me get rid of King of the King of the Castle. I'm pretty sure that's where it is. Wait, where? Oh, my extensions. <laughs> We're gonna deactivate that. Okay, let me know if it's gone. If so, awesome. If not, it's fine. I'm so happy I can do so much more when I do traditional art streams. I can't do this when I'm on a game. Poof, poof. Puff the magic dragon. I have fixed it, but um, it sounds like a barbecue would be a fun time. Yummy. I want, like, food. I made myself not tuna. I'm so used to having tuna nachos that that is what I was about to say. Because I take canned tuna, I put taco seasoning in it, and then I put cheese in it, and I mix it all up. And it creates, like, this tuna taco dip. And it's really good to eat with tortilla chips if you like canned tuna, which I do. <laughs> but 
I had turkey nachos today, so I took ground turkey and I made nachos out of it. Uh, yeah, family barbecue tonight, and then I got friends coming over tomorrow for a bigger one. Ooh, fun! Wait, what for? What's going on? Is there something going on? I love how cozy this stream in is. Have you ever tried drawing with your left hand? I have before. Um, it does not go very well, but I try my best. It's Memorial Day. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I literally have stuff at my job that says it's Memorial Day, and my brain go burr. I don't do anything for Memorial Day. My bad. Uh, we're having a barbecue tomorrow with some steak, chips, and stuff. Oh, everybody's having barbecues. How do I get, how do I get invited to the barbecue? Can I be invited to the barbecue? do a quick check also I tried okay this is gonna look and sound really stupid but there's that little dot that has been on my camera since I got it right right there but the lens is microscopic like it is I think about as big as my little pen tip here that is how microscopic the little lens is for this camera teeny tiny so um, I was going to use a Q-tip to try and clean that off, but I realized, well, one, we don't have Q-tips in the house, and two, um, it's too big. So, I got this brush nib, which is a replaceable brush nib, for the Blick Studio Markers. And I tried taking it and, like, shoving it in there to try and clean the lens. It doesn't work. It didn't, it didn't work, obviously. It's still, it's still there. Our friend is here to stay. Um, I almost wonder if it's something where I need to return my document camera and get a new one or not, but I can't really be bothered and I feel like it's too late anyway. I've already had it for a long time. So, yeah. You'll just have to visit Threadwing or harass, harass your friends to have one. <sighs> I have so much work I have to do. I can't anyway. Like, my days, even my days off my retail job are now, um, I get up at an early time on my day off, and then I work on videos, I work on more videos, I work on commissions, I work on, um, a brand collaboration that I should be able to finally finish up tomorrow, and then I work on the Minecraft server because I'm trying to get that up and going, but I'm also kind of running around doing nothing on it or lurking in friends' dreams while working on replying to business emails. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there was Bako's stream, which I was really intrigued by, so that took my attention for a hot minute. Because he was doing an RPG type of a thing. I mean, Sapphire, you were there, so you know. And Threadwing, you came in at um, a weird time. It was like in the middle of that RPG stream. So you were like, what is going on? But I was I was super intrigued by that. That was fun. I'd love to see him do another, not gonna lie. Me too. I would love to see him do more with it. Um, obviously, the one he did was impromptu. He wasn't planning to do it. So... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was weird, lol. I thought it was fun. I mean, it was fun, but it was a little weird. Can I do shadows with this pen? I guess you will find out. I don't know if it's... I mean, it's dark. I think I can. Ba -da -da -da. I hopped off Minecraft with Kara to watch it, and she did too, yeah. I think Kiara was on at the time too, so I was like, dang it. I feel bad leaving Kiara, but I was so distracted, I wasn't focused. 
I mean, that makes sense. I was distracted, so of course I wasn't focused. I'm using these pens, again, in the same colors that I am forced to use for this, to add some shadows. I was able to add a little shadow there. It's something. Something, something. I think I'm gonna use the tan one and attempt to do some shading, some minor shade. I don't know if it's gonna really work. Kind of, sort of does, but not great. Yeah, it works. It doesn't show super well on there. Um, I think I'm going to extend it. I think I'm going to extend that shadow with my pen. I cannot wait to see the long kitty emote. Like, oh, you know what? You know what? I can show you all a preview. I can show you all a preview of what that long kitty emote, emote is going to look like. Because I have a picture of the sketch already. And it's so cute. So, oh shoot. Um, hang on. Is it gonna? No, of course it's not. I want to show it, but no. If I zoom in, oh, well, yeah, if I zoom in, you can see it. So there's the little face. See the little face? And then the little, the little butt. But it's gonna have a centerpiece so we can connect it and make it longer and longer and longer and longer. Yeah! And uh, that same artist is also going to be making me a new PNG tuber model. Uh, she's my emote artist and the one that I rated my last stream. But I'm getting a PNG tuber model from her as well. And it's going to essentially be kind of like this style. Super freaking adorable and simple. Love it. <laughs> I can't wait. But if you ever wonder where your money for supporting me is going, it's going to making stream a little bit more fun or to bills because I need to be able to pay them. Your PNG tuber was so adorable. I know, right? Oh man, this is, this is about to be weird here. I don't know how else, I usually do a base of just like a gray or a light purple for my shadows or for my white spaces. It's usually a really, really light gray or it's a light blue or purple. Not a pink. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my best here. Because I want it to still appear white, so it's going to be mostly just like a light pink color. I should have probably done a basic colorless blender first, actually. Uh, or a small chunk to Minecraft too? Wait, what? I'm confused. Did I say something about Minecraft? I mean, I know I did earlier, but... That was a bit ago. I cannot wait for the warden stream. I need to make sure everybody's available on Thursday, though. Oh, man. You know, it's not... It's, it's a little textured, but it kind of works. It oddly kind of works because the, it looks like it's a fuzzy shirt <laughs> with all the ink is kind of lifting up here. 
But I do want to make this just a smidgen darker. Like so. Hello! Hi, O'Reilly! Thank you for following. Welcome to my cosmos. Did you find me from YouTube, Instagram? Did you find me on... Uh, or, or did you find me on Twitch? Which is a rarity, but it happens. It's kind of exciting when people find me on Twitch. Because then they don't know who I am or what I do and all that fun stuff. Hello, hello, hello. I forget what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, wow, Nate. So nice just saying bye the instant they get here. What? Oh, I didn't even realize that. The little bye kitty catamo. Oh my gosh. Good job, GG. <laughs> oh, wait. Why am I doing it that way? I don't want to do it that way. I was touching my mark markers the wrong way. I had it going the reverse way. This is a larger space. So, well, I don't think I'm going to use as much pink here, but just in case, I put a little bit more pink on my marker than before. I also didn't do a base of colorless blender here. Oh no. I'm sure it's fine. It'll be fine. I can make this work. <laughs> I believe in myself. Oh, dang. Oh, oh, we got tons of people. I don't try to look at my view count too, too much. Because when I do, when it's lower than usual, like, uh, like, I mean, I know it doesn't really matter. I'm just here to stream for fun more than anything. But I do notice, like, when I look at the view count too much, I get stuck on it. So I try not to look at it. And I just try to focus on what I'm doing and have a good time and interact with chat. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Madre. You didn't quite trick me, you just startled me. Wait a second. Wait a second, I colored her sleeve wrong on this other side. So, I guess I'm going to have to use red on her sleeves. Hello, I can't put that cap on this marker. This is my pink marker cap, not my red, or not my colorless blender one. Hi, hi, how are you? I hope you're doing good. Taking care of Katie and giving her mashed potatoes and everything since she got her wisdom teeth out. <laughs> I got my wisdom teeth out when I was like 15. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna have to do, because I made a little minor mistake on the sleeve over here and colored it to match her skin color. I think I'm gonna have to add that same hatching detail over here just to tie it together. Wait, what? Oreo? I wasn't told that. Or maybe I was and I just didn't get to check the Snapchat for it. No. Poor baby. Benny's alone again. I'm sorry. It's always hard. Who's Oreo? Yeah. It's, um, Katie's and Shannon's guinea pig. Wisdom teeth out. Yeah. She finally got her wisdom teeth out. 
About gosh darn time. <laughs> I would joke saying, like, at her ancient age, but that would be kind of mean, especially. <laughs> nah. You know what? No. She does it to me all the time. I know I'm older than her, but dang it. At her ancient age, getting her wisdom teeth out. How dare. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope everyone there is okay. I know it's always hard to lose a fur baby, and I know the last one wasn't easy either, but she got to live a good, like, last year or so of her life, at least. Screaming for salads at like one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it is, exactly. Wisdom teeth are brutal to have removed. They are, my experience with getting wisdom teeth removed was not great. Because I got, okay, I had braces when I was 11 to 12, maybe 12 to 13, actually. Um, I only had them on for about a year, year and a half. I was supposed to have them on for, I think, closer to two to three years. But my teeth moved very quickly, and I was thankful. But uh, because I had braces, I had to get my wisdom teeth out early so that nothing shifted in my mouth. So, I got my wisdom teeth out probably six months to a year and a half early. So, my healing process took like four times as long as the average person. It wasn't like horrible, but it wasn't comfy either. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna make her skirt red. I think I already kind of determined this early on that I was going to give her this color skirt to balance out her hair. I don't know what I'm going to do about those little planets. I'll have to figure that out. There's a lot of little folds here. A lot of little folds. <laughs> I was desiring a t cheeseburger by the end of my wisdom teeth recovery. I, okay, this is gonna sound weird. My mom decided to make my brother and I scrambled eggs immediately after we got our wisdom teeth out. And like, I could eat them, they were soft enough where I could just easily swallow, but that's kind of a weird item for, or like a weird thing to have after you get your wisdom teeth out. <laughs> and I didn't really realize it at the time because I don't know what was going on. I was kind of loopy. I was out of it. I made Katie scrambled eggs too. Okay, so maybe it's not as weird as I thought. I mean, I just hear people having shakes or soup or like mashed potatoes. <laughs> a lot, a lot of soup. When I first got my braces, my mom took me to a place called First to Watch. And I got uh, scrambled eggs there. But when I had my braces, I had a bar that went across the top of my mouth. And that made it so hard to not only speak, but to eat. And I could, like, I was <laughs> swallowing chunks of egg whole. It was horrible. And so painful, too, because the first day they pulled my gap together, I had a gap between my front two teeth, and they yanked my teeth together. Talk about frickin' painful. That was one of the worst pains I've ever felt in my life. Coming second to probably when I cut my left finger, my left pinky open. Speaking of planets, how is the server coming along? It's coming along very well. I'm hoping to be able to have it open Soon enough. I don't know how soon, but we're going to try and get it open as soon as possible. Uh, I didn't eat for like a week after I got my wisdom teeth out. The only things I was allowed to eat were jellos and puddings and yogurts, and I hate that texture. I actually lost weight because I ate so little. Oh my gosh. You don't... I mean, yeah, yeah, everybody has a preference to textures they like. It's sort of like I don't like onion because of the texture. 
Okay, okay. Wait, wait. Back it up a little bit. I don't like crunchy onion bits in, like, my chicken fried rice, which is why I order my chicken fried rice with only egg and chicken. And I get veggies on the side. But it's because I don't like the random crunchy textures within my chicken fried rice that I order it that way. Um... But if the onion is cooked down to a point where I don't realize it, like it is in my family's homemade uh, Hungarian goulash, that's fine. Like, I can handle onion in that case. Or in, like, boiled dinner. It's boiled to the point where it's so soft it, mat like, meshes with everything else. Because I like the taste of onion. I just don't like the crunchy ch texture of it. Scrambled eggs would have broken up the boringness of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think it's weird that I made her cream of broccoli soup. Yeah, she was telling me that. Okay, I'm gonna color with this bright, hot pink over the rest of the white space on here. And then I'm gonna go over that with the peachy color I used on her skin. And I'm gonna, like, dilute that hot pink a little because it is intense. Maybe not so intense on camera, but it is in real life. But I also found that that color, the skin peachy color, is really nice to make it a lightish red color. So it works out. What is this called? Barely beige. <laughs> I don't even know if that's beige. I'm a little less picky about it now. I've gotten to the point where I can eat, like, custard and mousse, but jello and yogurt are still a hard pass. See, I don't like yogurt because of the flavor, but jello. I literally brought up jello earlier because I said how I tried to make it the fast way, like they show in the back of the box, or rather side of the box, and it did not turn out. So I'm never making Jello the quick way ever again. But I I love Jello. I don't understand the hype for putting Cool Whip on Jello, however, because I tried it and it is just too much. I want my Jello plain. I don't want all that extra stuff on it. Uh, I love me some Jello. Not the best fan of pudding. Oh my god, I love pudding. <laughs> I used to laugh at the word pudding all the time too. Now not so much. Like I don't I don't giggle at it. It was always bubbles and pudding that I would giggle at though. I'm really not liking her shirts. I think I might have to make the star red just to make it stand out cuz it's going to be a white shirt. And I am using this red pen to add some deeper shadows on her skirt. I don't know if it's coming across on stream super well, but. I'm trying. Um, oh, that is good. Wait, what's good? Cool Whip on Jello? Because I, I mean, it's fine. I love Cool Whip. I love Cool Whip. I don't care for it on Jello. I prefer my Jello plain. And that's just a personal preference. I feel like I'm going to finish this far earlier than anticipated. Yes. I know a lot of people who do like it. I mean, I know I'm weird, but... <laughs> Oh, by the way, um, Vicky, while you're in here, we need to figure out the hotel situation for the con. So we're going to have to like talk with everyone about that if we're still planning to do that. They're just going to need to remind me because my brain go burr <laughs> and I forget. I have a lot going on. I'm pretty sure it's still planned, but I don't know.
Uh, I think it has something to do with my grandma, to be honest. Oh, she would make jello constantly when I was a little kid, to the point that it made me feel nauseous, but I had to eat it or else she would get upset. Then when I ate it, she would make more because she thought I liked it. A never ending cycle. That makes sense. It's no wonder. Uh, yeah, I, I get it. Yes, we are still going. Okay, I'm gonna get mine and Katie's tickets when I can. Finances are a little little tight for me at the moment until I can get some commissions done and work on collaborations like with the company I still need to finish up with. <laughs> so she did the same thing with apple juice. Dan can't stand this stuff now? Dang, I love me some apple juice, but I don't get it very often. My current thing that I'm really into is called Zip Fizz. And it's a energy type of a drink that you just mix with water. Where? Do I have an eyeliner on? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure I could actually rub my eye. Oh, yeah. I was off work today. Duh. I didn't put on makeup. Anyway. Um, Zip Fizz. It's in multiple flavors but the one I get is the lemon flavor because that's my favorite and like the only one I'll drink <laughs> but um you mix that in with like 20 18 to 20 ounces of water and it's this really yummy lime juice type thing it's carbonated too but it's only like 20 calories for a tube so if you're looking for a soda alternative I highly recommend uh, I like the skirt. Thank you. Our, I, I want to say it's our, our Arlie? Arlie? Also, hello. Welcome in. I don't know if you heard me say welcome and thank you for the follow earlier, but thank you and welcome into my cosmos. Uh, oh, do you have commission slots open? Are you waiting to do more? I am. I currently have two lined up that I have to do and I want to go back and fix up my first one because I feel like I made her skin look a little muddied but that was before I was really getting the hang of things so after those are done I will have space why was I trying to flip my canvas <laughs> with my finger of all things I was like tapping up here like it was my mouse tapping the undo button or the like flip button. <laughs> oh my god. Kara, monsters! Ah, uh, that was sort of our great grandma. You ever come over? You want this? You want this? Oh no, my my family was the opposite. Uh, for the longest time, I was told to lose weight ever since I was maybe eight years old, seven years old, in fact. I was told that I need to lose weight because. I was too big. And I've always been a big girl. I'm like, for those who don't know, I'm a size like 18, 20. I'm not a small girl and I have been big like all my life. That being said, and I have to say it every single time, I am healthy. I had my blood work done. I am entirely healthy there. My blood pressure is perfectly fine. My resting heart rate is very fine. Like my heart rate, what is... What is my heart rate right now? Okay, well, it's a little high right now. Probably because I'm talking. It's 78 right now, which is high for me. <laughs> but my resting for today is 63. Hi, hi, hello. Okay, yeah, my heart rate probably just jumped up. Oh, <laughs> it really jumped up. Got me up to 85. Hydrate. I will hydrate. Thank you, thank you. Perfect timing. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Digital art brain. Oh my gosh. Digital art is poisoning my brain. It is. A little bit it is. Uh, I do that all the time. Although my finger does the control Z motion a lot when I want to undo something on a traditional piece. Oh no, I, I'm shocked I didn't just go over here and grab my mouse to try and fix things to make sure I keep my table away from where my mic is so I don't have the bumping noises because now I'm like really on edge about that <laughs> I cannot wait to get my new kitty cat emote I can't wait 
or my new little png model i mean i'm gonna make myself another one because frankly i'm this one i love the one that i have right now on screen i love but like um here breaking back like this one i still like her and all she's cute but i just i don't know i feel like i can do better and i want to do one in the same style that i did my other one in not in the chibi style so i'm gonna do that eventually uh i gotta run unfortunately have a good rest of your stream bye have fun at the barbecue thank you for stopping in even if it was for a short time this is coming out of your paycheck <laughs> that you don't get it uh there is one charm to the drawn looking one yeah yeah there's some like charm to it i do like it. i pay you i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> no no i get it have fun have fun bye 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 Get out of here, Thread. Go to your barbecue. Go be a normal person. Go live my dreams. I don't know what I'm doing with the eyes right now. I'm adding these like little lines and dots. I, I really want to work on my eye style. Because I haven't been feeling my eyes for a while. I feel like they kind of lack detail. And, like, that's fine and all, but I don't know. Uh, what's normal? I don't know. Hi! Hi, Golden Arrow! How are you? Hello! I hope all is well. I might regret using this color. Also, my micron smeared a little bit on that, so... I had to fix it. You can see how dark it was up there. Whoops. I'm gonna add some details to her eyes because she's looking a little. a little dead. She needs her eye shine. Well, she's not looking dead. She's got a pupil, so it works, but. Ah! Come on, Jelly Roll, work with me. You know you want to. Here we go. What's normal? <laughs> I don't know him. I I don't know. I don't know what normal is either. I'm all right. Birthday today. How are you? Happy birthday, Golden Arrow. I hope you've had a good one. I hope it wasn't like staying in your room all day because those I mean okay maybe for some it's nice but for me I I personally like little surprises unless they scare me um but I hope you had like a birthday that you liked what type of cake did you have if you had cake or do you not like cake and you had something else let me know oh yeah I want to do the I want to do the star on her shirt Because the white star with like the white shirt I wasn't really feeling it. I keep swearing I hear thunder, but it's not even storming. It is sunny as can be outside. Uh, what is your favorite holiday? What is your favorite holiday? My voice totally did not just crack. Oh my gosh. Um, my favorite is Halloween, just cause, I mean, it's really funny. As much as I hate being spooked and jump scared, I love spooky season. I wear a lot of black in real life, so yeah. One of my favorite sweaters is orange and black, like half and half split. And then it has a skeleton rib cage on it. It's my one of my favorite sweaters to wear in real life. Love it. Uh, haven't gotten up yet. Still morning. Oh, well, good morning. You you have a long day ahead of you. Maybe a long day ahead of you. Do you have any plans for your birthday? Are you in Oz? I feel like I've been to one of your streams before, but I can't remember. I watch too many people. <laughs> it's 
It's so hard to keep track of everyone. I don't know if I'm gonna like what I just did there with this pink. Ooh. Not sure yet. Yeah, yep, us. Ooh. Fun. I have a conversion chart somewhere for times. Oh, well, that's specifically for where Winnie lives. I, I know it's kind of weird to make um, time conversion charts, but like... I try to re be respectful to my friends in other time zones because, um, you know, I want to make sure they're getting enough sleep and going to bed at a reasonable time and I'm not asking them to be up too early if I want to, like, hang out or something. So, I'm very particular. I know by default that UK is six hours ahead of C CST. I think it's about five hours ahead of EST. So yeah, that, that checks. Um, when it's daylight savings, it's either, shoot, I used the wrong color. I didn't mean to use that pink. It's either four or six hours. I don't really like this bright pink. It's so intense. I'm gonna soften it up a little bit with this peachy color. I feel like it'll make it look a little nicer. Um, it's seven or I think six for you. Excuse eight. <laughs> no, I don't think it would be that long because I have some friends in the UK and we were only like six apart because we're closer than CST. I'm in EST, not PST. Like for me right now, it's 747. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Threads is the one in PST. So for thread, yeah, that would make sense. For me, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, this marker just got super juicy on me all of a sudden. Hi. Something about the lighting has changed. Or I'm crazy. I don't know. She looks like, okay, I kind of wish I had hearts all over the place. Because if this were a Valentine's Day theme, perfect. Perfect colors. Since this isn't a Valentine's Day theme, it's not. Ha! Huh. I really want purples. I really, really want my purples. Right? I don't know what I'm gonna do for the background because I don't want it to be super, like I don't want it to take away from her. I'm getting to a point where I'm like, I don't know what to do. Okay, well, one for her planet. I think I'm just gonna do basic cell shading. For the little planets and the moon. For the star, um, I think I'm gonna do that hot pink and not tone it down. For the little strands, I'm gonna use this pen. I'm also gonna use this pen for adding some detail into the planets. I am going to add more detail to the skirt too because I want to add some white lines just to break up the color a little bit. More so than just the black. 
I also think I might make some of the lines a little bit more bold. Ooh, not bald, bold. By the way, if you are new and happen to be just now joining and you didn't catch the beginning of the stream, if you like the drawing that you see here and would like to color it in yourself at some point here in a few months, this is a piece that I have in my coloring book that I am releasing here in October. And you can check it out, or like you can pre-order it now by looking at my link tree. Or you can do exclamation mark <laughs> book and you'll find the links to it. Just if you're interested. The book was specifically made for like alcohol markers in mind. However, you can use whatever materials you want to color your pieces because we don't gatekeep here. I kind of want to try out um, watercolor at some point too. Or try it out again, I should say. <laughs> Wait, what if I use this pink and just sharpen up that, like... Ooh, I like it. I'm wondering what to do here. I do you like boba? I... No. <laughs> Short answer, no, because I don't like the tapioca pearls or the jelly pearls. But I like... There's something called Bubbleology near where I live and they have a milk tea I really really like but I get it without the boba and it's an, <laughs> it's an Oreo milk tea surprise my obsession with Oreos well adding those extra strands of hair is really cute oh I didn't add any freckles under her like ear or her arms or anything yet. She used freckles. I love adding freckles to drawings. I have a few in real life myself, but they're very, very faint. I kind of want to go back to Bubbleology, not gonna lie. I haven't had it in a hot minute. But it's also near a cat cafe that I really want to go to. I just want to hang out with more cats. Like, I go over to my friends to hang out with her cat quite a lot. <laughs> but I need more. Uh, I like the popping boba with the different flavors, but not a fan of teas, so I'd rather have fruit juice with them. Or sort of smoothie. See, I'm too picky. If there was a lime one, I would be all over that. Because I like lime. Um, I'm, I'm just really picky. I mean, about my drinks. It's sort of like, uh, I tried a boathouse coffee again today for the first time in a while. I used to love it. Now it's too sweet. I could barely handle it when I had it today. What do I do about this? <laughs> I don't... I mean, I guess I could color it all... It's all tan, but it's kind of boring. I... I'm starting to feel a little bit limited by my color palette. Just a little bit more. Um, this is the part of my drawing process that you all don't get to see, is me struggling to figure out what to do. Because let me tell you, half the time <laughs> I'm sitting here like, oh, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I want to do that color thing with it. I'm adding all these tiny details that you can't even see. Oh 
about you make it yellow or light blue? I can't because I'm doing a three marker challenge or well three color challenge because it's more than three markers. I'm using colorless blenders too. I don't know if that counts or not. But because I'm using a limited color selection, I'm limited on my colors. Because for a piece like this, I would have never chosen these colors. I would have done blues, pinks, and purples. I mean, yeah, the pink kind of counts, but it's a little bit on the hot side for my liking. Um, I usually go for more of a soft pastel type of a pink. Uh, cake or pie? Because there, there's, wait, there are those arguments, but what do you mean? Are you asking me cake or pie? Oh God. Okay, presuming that I am having my favorite pie, it's probably going to be pie. Like, I love cake. But if I'm having the choice between, like, a cookies and cream cake or a cookies and cream pie, I'm going to choose the pie. Personally. Or like chocolate pie. Oh, so good. I don't have pie very often, so I might be a little bit biased. I have cake a little bit more frequently than I do pie. And because of that, I think, I think I'm just naturally going to be choosing the one I don't get a whole lot of. Oh, you know what I could do to add some extra spice? I mean, I'm already going to be adding white highlights, but I can make... I can make her shirt like sparkly. You aren't gonna really see it until it's done because my hand covers it. Love that for everyone. But you can kind of see what I'm doing. You can see the little stars. I'm adding glitter to her shirt. So it'll be a super glittery star shirt. I really do not know what to do with the background because I want so badly to have a pastel, maybe a pastel pink, but in a different shade, maybe closer to red. But with the colors I'm given, I can't really get that. So I might just color the stars and the planets and then I can move on to another three marker challenge with other colors. Glittery. I think in my opinion, I choose the pie still too. Just because I like the fruity strawberry and my favorite dessert is pumpkin pie. See, I'm not, I'm not a fruit person. I'm a chocolate, vanilla, cookies and cream person when it comes to desserts. So I think that also leads to a bit of bias, but usually that bias would be for cakes and not for pies because pies usually do come in the fruity flavors. I don't know my, why my voice is cracking so much today. My gosh, am I going through another puberty? Pu the puberty? I know I'm not. I'm too old for that. But where did I put my pencil case? Oh my gosh. I could have added glitter. <laughs> I have my glitter pens. I could do glittery planets. Oh, somebody tell me no. Somebody tell me no right now or else it's gonna happen. There's my pink. Oh, I also had this pink pen. That would have been a nice one to have. If I had just looked a little longer. Where's my size 10 jelly roll? That's what I want. Because that one's juicy. That one comes out the best. Okay, there's going to be some glitter. I can't deny it. 
Uh, I usually would pick angel food cake for cake, to be honest. I know you can put, like, fruits with, the, with that type of cake, too. On the other hand, though, there is ice cream cake, which definitely is more superior than pie. Oh, hello, Lolly Lou. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to my cosmos. Hello, hello. Uh, yeah, they go with best with fruits on them. <laughs> Oh, I remember why I didn't really use a hoo-hoo much. I remember now. I they, they blend beautifully. However, you can already see my white jelly roll pen has turned pink. Because it soaked up the ink from the hoo-hoo markers. Like, a hoo-hoo, fantastic, fantastic marker. Except for when you want to put white over top of it. <laughs> Because whatever you put over top of it, it will be diluted by the color you put it on top of. And I don't have that same experience with other, like some other marker brands like Copic, which I mean is an expensive brand. Um, and I love Ardex. I just wish they would pay. <laughs> Like, I love Ardex markers so much, but I'm just disappointed in them right now. Maybe, maybe instead of coloring in the whole background, I could maybe just do the edges. I, maybe I can just do the edges. I'm not worried about, oh, oh no, oh no, oh, I forgot that it wasn't dry. Oh, jeez. Whoops. <laughs> okay, before you do that, make sure your white jelly roll pen's dry, people. Uh, yes, indeed, but do we consider it more ice cream or more cake? We're, we're bending the rules now. I guess it would be more ice cream. And it is cake because ice cream cakes are usually just that. They're ice cream, like blocks of ice cream with icing on them. And at that point, where's the cake? There really is no cake. I'm not, not concerned about covering up these stars because I'm just going to blend all this out. I might add some pink in just for interest and to differentiate from my girl here. For anybody who is just now joining, these are the three colors that I am working out with right now. So those are the colors I have to use. Oh, 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 oh. I think I just got an update from my emote artist, people. I think I just got an update from my emote artist. I don't know if that means that the emotes are done or if she's just sending me a sketch at the moment, but we're about to look on stream together if it is something about the emote. I'm so excited. Can't wait for my long cat. Oh yeah, people often ask me, Kara, if you can draw, why don't you just make your own emotes? Because, em okay, uh, let me just say, emote making is entirely different than just, like, creating a drawing. You have to plan for how it's going to be seen at a small scale, and I don't understand that right now. I do want to give it a go again. I do want to try it, but I'm going to try it for friends who might not have emotes yet or might not have a whole lot of emotes yet just to test and see how it goes. And then maybe, I don't know, I might do emote commissions at some point. 
But I highly, highly recommend Caffeine Hug, who's the one who does my emotes, because she's fantastic. She also streams. That's kind of nice. Uh, have you ever tried a cake called Tres Leche? No, I have not. What is that like? Okay, we're checking my emote artist really quick. <laughs> really, really quick. Oh. Uh, no, it was just a response to something I said earlier. Darn, it's okay. We're gonna get the long kitty in time. I can't wait. Okay. Okay. Let's blend that sucker out there in the corner. Uh, like supporting me. Wait, hang on. I I think to me it's like, why go to a big and non-local store when you can go to super local store? Like supporting your friends and other creators rather than yourself making them. Yeah, I mean, if I were more... I don't know. I, I can do it. I just prefer how other people do it a lot more. And I feel like other people do a better job than I personally could. So I go to them. Um, it started like with Threadwing. I had Thread do my profile image as well. Well, okay, no, not my Twitch one. But the banner I had her do, I paid her to do that for me because I knew she would do a really good job and come up with something really cool. So I paid her for that. Um, I paid some others for other PNGs I could switch into because it's a good way to support my friends and get their names out there as well as like, you know, get some cool art out of it and get some things that I personally don't think I would do a great job at producing myself. I like supporting my friends and however I can, I will, I will continue to do so. I may not be the most financially stable and I sometimes may or may not spend too much money on my friends to a point where I'm in a situation, but it feels good to make others happy and to support my friendos. Okay, I I think I like the ping on the ping. I like the pink on the outside quite a lot. Definitely adds something extra. I am going to also blend out the beige on the inside so that way it blends out just a little bit more. It feathers out more. You also might be noticing, if you aren't used to alcohol markers, you might be noticing I am blending out this area super fast. I'm working in small spaces and that is because uh, these are two quite different colors and without having to do the tip to tip method, which I don't really care to do, it's easier to just lay out a small bit of color and then immediately try and blend it out with a different color because it'll help it feather more. It's not a great blend, like there's still an obvious line between them, but it feathers it and softens it up at least a little bit compared to if I let it dry too much. Because at least when it's wet, I have a chance to make it feather and soften. Looks like a cute photo. That was kind of the idea behind this one. And I believe I used my friend Abby as a inspiration for this piece. And I asked her a while ago if I could use her for inspiration for drawings. And she was always cool with it. I've been friends with her for like a decade. So I'm pretty sure she's the one who inspired this. I love the skirt on this girl so much. I can't wait to color her with actual colors that I personally would use. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Oh, it's a, you know what? I'm making her lip sparkly, maybe. I don't know. We're going to see how it looks. Can I get away? Oh, sparkly. 
Oh, it's so pretty. I really wish y'all could see the sparkle. I don't know if you can. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> you can. Her lip is sparkly. I need to make more things sparkly. I could make that little charm down here sparkly, but I'm gonna do the pink instead. Because if I do the red, it's gonna blend in way too much. I might do the star on her shirt. I know I already added the glitter. But I feel like there needs to be something there. But I'm gonna do it with the pink. I can go back over with my white jelly roll pen. I'm not too concerned about that. Coloring with uh, glittery pens takes a while too. It's a very slow process because you have to do circular motions to make sure it stays nice and smooth. But the other thing I do, and I do this with my Jolly Roll too, you can see I draw on my hand because it helps get the ink flowing a little bit. And so it, it comes out a little bit more smooth. The star is about to be glittery. I miss doing my glitter pen drawings. Maybe I should do more of those. I also want to do more miniature scale drawings. Like tiny sketchbooks. Because I have so many of those. Ah. Uh, I was about to reread your comments, Sapphire. Okay, I might have to switch to the red because I am noticing as I get further into it. The pink is kind of overtaking the red. So we're going to include the red in here and help blend that pink glitter into the red glitter because you can blend them a little bit. Okay, wow, I need to get the red going on my hand again. Hang on. That's another reason why I kind of want to give them a go, because you can blend them slightly. Okay. Uhuhu marker, come here. I need you to be nice and juicy for me, please. Soften up these edges. reminder to everybody again if you ever need tips and tricks on how to use alcohol markers I do have a series that I've been posting on YouTube and TikTok and I need to update it on Instagram I've kind of been slacking on posting it on there but it's all about how to use alcohol markers or how I personally use them rather maybe it's not the right way but it's the way I do it Uh, yeah, I still need to fix that star in her hair that I messed up earlier by smudging it. I can't believe I did that. Oh, I am so scared that this is going to take away from her because it's so intense of a red. Hello, hello, Selena the Crazy Cat Lady. I love your name. You're going to fit in perfectly here. Welcome to my cosmos. Welcome to my cosmos. I butchered that. Oh my goodness. Hello, 
Shade the Hellhound. Hello, hello. Welcome in. I'm going to have to fix the stars. Ah! But what brings you in today? Looks like we got a couple new new viewers. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? It's kind of a calm, chill stream. Working on some art, doing a three marker, oh, three color challenge. I am using colorless blenders and some other pens in the same colors, so it's more of a three color challenge rather than a three marker challenge. Uh, I'm good, just drawing. Ooh, what are you drawing? I also realized I made a minor mistake. I have to make this red. I'm gonna make that red too. I feel like I am going to finish this one before the four hour mark. So I have another one ready to go. Hopefully it works because I drew it entirely in pen. So uh, we'll see. We'll see if I can actually do it. If not, well, I have a photo of her somewhere. It's fine. Uh, just some concepts, concept designs for new OCs. I finished my Plague Doctor OC and I want to keep the drawing streak rolling before the art block hits. Oh my gosh, that's a mood. That's kind of where I'm at at the moment. Art blocks are real. <laughs> this is a drawing that I did myself as well, and it's going to be in a coloring book that I am releasing in October. It's just one of the many 30-something designs. But I'm currently doing that one challenge with it. So <laughs> this is not how I would typically color her. Usually I would use more purples and blues rather than reds and pinks. But yeah. Ah, I clicked on the wrong thing. Whoops. There we go. But I have a, f I think you would probably like uh, the design of one of my friend's characters. He is a Plague Doctor-esque type of figure and has a pretty cool avatar. But he doesn't stream, so the chances of seeing it are kind of slim, sadly. He'll jump in on like friend streams, but he doesn't, he doesn't really stream himself yet. I feel inspired to draw. Heck yeah. I I have so much I want to do. It's just my work schedule says nah. I'm already overloaded with stuff to do. <laughs> Hi. Hi, my favorite they, them. How are you doing? I heard the news. I'm sorry. I hope you're okay. I'm so sad, man. I know. It's never easy. My poor Oreo. I know. I'm frowning. She at least got to live another, like, good year in your care, though. So just think of it that way. Got some good salads. Big ol' hugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody in chat, I want you to... Do exclamation mark hug sun draws? You do. Like so. Because then you can all give give hugs. Yay, cute. Ah. 
Ow, my foot. Ooh, I just got an idea because I'm using this uh, pink pen. I just had an idea for something I can do. Because it's very similar in color to when I layer the tan over the pink. <laughs> it's cute. I love the little hugging animation for these guys. It's so cute. And it makes it cuter that they're Animal Crossing characters. <laughs> but here's how my three color pieces... I just spit. Oh my gosh. Here's my how my three color pieces coming along so far. Looking pretty good. I am going to color in these last two stripes with the pink. And then I'm going to layer that with the peachy color. I see big group hug. We're all about hugs here. I'm also just realizing how faded the little tip thing for this is. Like, you can hardly read that it says art marker. And this is a new marker! Wait, this is my new one! And it's already that faded? Oh my gosh, it fades so easily. What? That's insane. Like, I j <laughs> It's gone. You can still see a hoo-hoo. But, like, this part's fading. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, it's a subtle difference. You can kind of see it. Ooh, I know what I can do for the outer edge. I can color that with the red. Because I already used the pink and the peach. And I'll have to color the stars. I can color a little bit at a time. It's a very, very narrow line. And I think this is roughly what the size of the coloring page is actually going to be in my book. Maybe a little bit bigger. I think I might have made her a little small. I'm so excited to see that book in real life. I want to do so many challenges with it. Like, I want to try watercolor in it. I want to try working with certain pens, like gel pens for a full drawing. Uh, or to color in a full drawing. I want to do more three marker challenges. I want to do maybe like a one marker challenge. Um, and other stuff. Oh, Katie posted a photo of Oreo who... We have been discussing that passed away in the discord like an alive adorable oreo oreo was a guinea pig or well <laughs> is a guinea pig not was she is a guinea pig but she passed today sadly she was super cute super duper cute Okay, that red line on the outside. Oh my gosh, that just made it like... Whew, that's pretty. Okay, I like that. I wasn't sure about the background at first, what I was going to do, but I like that. I think I like what I've got going on here. Uh, yeah, now it's just Bentley. Benny keeps ending up alone and it makes me sad. Oh, baby... Justice for Benny. Okay, we're gonna color in some of these stars. I don't really want to do red on red, but that might end up happening because I did kind of color over a lot of the stars on the outside. Whoops. I know. You're gonna have to give Bentley extra, extra love.
I'm gonna do mostly pink on the outside stars, but I think I am gonna have like these two be red. We have been good, good, good. I, I figured as much. She's gonna be screaming extra loud at three o'clock in the morning for a salad. I know I said one o'clock earlier today, but now it's three o'clock. I always get so nervous using my markers, feeling like they might explode at any second. <laughs> Can I? Of course I can't get it to do the thing. Sometimes, oh, well, no, it's not usually a hoo-hoo that I have that issue with. It's usually Ardex. I can sometimes just, like, take the marker and... Like, do these little motions and get little droplets to come out. This one's too, like, yeah, I've used too much ink, so it's not doing it now, but, yeah. Um, what do you like most about your art? Probably the way I draw hair is my favorite, but, yeah. Hair is my favorite thing to draw, if you haven't noticed. You can see my little slideshow over there of all my drawings and how much I just love drawing hair. Which is why you don't see a lot of shorter hairstyles in my work, which I'm trying to get better at doing. Uh, it's just because I like drawing hair. It's therapeutic for me. Oh god, don't jinx it. She was yelling so loud last night. You know she's gonna yell. You know she's gonna yell. Uh, I think it is, or I think it is. Your pretty colors and line art. Thank you. I'm often told that the bright colors I use remind people of Lisa Frank. Like if Lisa Frank did more detailed characters. <laughs> I get told that quite frequently. do every other one of these pearls. I could have done some cool like spiral designs. She's already death staring me. Oh no. Oh no. She's gonna do it. She's gonna, she's gonna scream. She just wants her salad. Dang it. Maybe she heard me saying it, unless you have like headphones or earbuds in. It's like salad? Are you you talking about salad? Can I have salad? <laughs> That's kind of like phantom with milk. Like I know, I know cats are not supposed to have milk. I know, but phantom was wild about it. She would meow and meow and meow if you were in the kitchen until you gave her milk. Walking back and forth, rubbing against your leg. And I would only give her a tiny, tiny amount. Say I had a plate like this big, it wouldn't be filled. It would be just like a quick, like a quick dash of milk, like a lick full. <laughs> just enough for some flavor, but not enough to where she would have diarrhea or anything. I've created a monster out of Cora for soup. Oh, I know. I ha I mean, I have heard a cat meow as much of as Cora, maybe more than Cora, but it's been a long time since I've came across a cat like that. She has quite a lot to say. Uh, we always gave minimal amounts of milk to, to the cats if they really demanded. That was Phantom. That was Phantom. She was demanding milk all the time that's all she wanted that and love like she okay no she was very hit or miss with love you could be petting her and she'd be perfectly fine not throwing a fit or anything one second and then the next second oh no you've pissed her off she is like hissing at you and batting at your hand and just doesn't want any of it She had a split half and half face, like, perfectly down the center. So I would not be surprised if she was a chimera, because she really seemed like she had two different personalities. Legitimately. And I don't know if chimeraism has an effect on that. 
but if so, it would explain so much. Um, I've never heard a cat talk so much. Cora is very talkative. I'm massively allergic to cats. No, I'm so sorry. That sucks. They're, they are quite interesting little creatures. And they really do have personalities of their own. And anybody who says that cats are not capable of love, they are liars. Look, my cat knows my voice on the phone. He knows my voice. My mom will often video call just so I can talk with him because I can't have him where I live. I live with people who are allergic. So I'm trying to find my own place. But until then, he's staying with my mom. And like I said, I video chat with him and he knows when it's his mama. Also, the ink keeps grow going outside the lines here and it's really hard to fix it because I already colored in the space around. So. Uh, we're hoping to bring my tiny cat back from my family's when we visit. Man, she was a sweet baby. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay. I need shadows and stuff over here. I already used the pink here and here, so pink it is. I don't know if it's going to stay on this planet over here or if it's going to fade too much. Right now it shows up, but I don't know. By the way, did you hydrate? Did I have a hydrate? Oh, there is a hydrate. Oh, shoot. I missed it. Okay. I will hydrate. Okay. There is my hydrate. Time to work on some finalizing details here. First of all, going back and adding my <laughs> sparkles back into the shirt that I used white glitter, not white glitter. I used my glitter pens on. Also, Katie, I did order another dress. Hopefully uh, it works. It's like half the price. And if it works, I'm going to be upset that I tried the other one first. Especially since I can't seem to get a hold of their customer service, which is really annoying. I wonder if they do that on purpose. They're like, oh, oh, sorry. We didn't get your message until it's too late for a return or a refund. I'm going to be upset -y. I can't afford to be out $100. I gotta pay for us to go to Missouri. Ha! Ah. Cute. Glittery. Uh, her oddest behavior was laying on me while I was gaming and trying to chew my fingers. She, she just had a little nibble. Let her have a little nibble. Blood for the blood god. <laughs> She is, in fact, the blood god. Uh, I have a dog that acts like a count. Does that er, <laughs> Dog that acts like a cat. Does that count? You know? Yeah. Yeah, that counts. That's fine. It checks. I'll allow it. Um, I should have done a little heart. I could have done a little heart on her nose, but no. Of course I didn't. Okay, I 
No, I literally showed the technique on how to push ink back in with a colorless blender the other day. But I feel lazy, so I'm just using my white jelly roll. Um. <laughs> you know, whatever works, right? And it works for me. And it's looking like I'm going to have time to do the second one. The second one's going to be a lot quicker because it is just a headshot, not a full body. So. Um. I'd let her chew my thumb. If you ever wanted to know what it felt like to be nommed by a cat, lots of slobber and chompies. I've been nommed a little bit by a cat, but it wasn't very slobbery. <laughs> um, I have a question. Do you think you will watch The Owl House? I have actually already started. I am on season two, but only like three episodes in. I just have been too busy with other stuff to continue at the moment, but I have enjoyed what I've been watching so far. My one friend was freaking out when she realized that I had started watching it. <laughs> right now, I am just anxiously waiting for Attack on Titan. Uh, what do you think? Favorite character, favorite episode? Um, I really like Ida. <laughs> She's probably my favorite. I relate most to Willow. Willow's the one I definitely relate a lot to. I don't know how I feel about Amity yet because she's still in her, like, She's still very wishy-washy at this point where I am currently. She's still very wishy-washy. Like, sometimes I like her, but then it's like, she goes back into being like, I don't know. She's, she's slowly growing on me. I just need to get to know her a little bit better. Favorite episode, though. Um, I really liked the one where they all got shrunken. I think that was a fun one. They all shrunk down. Or like, uh, not they all got shrunk down. Oh yeah, yeah, they did. I think that's the same one that had the little like cat cafe of sorts. It was like a, <laughs> a little take on a cat cafe. That was, that was fun. No teenagers allowed. King is cute, and I did see that there was some sort of theory that he would be, uh, oh my gosh, what's his name? I suck with names. The guy from Gravity Falls. I can't remember his name. Bill Cipher, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. You're right. <laughs> Yeah, there was a theory that that would be him, and I can kind of sort of see it. It's like, he doesn't have any of his memories, though. Like, reincarnation type of thing. And that's pretty fun. Uh, my favorite is all of season three. Yeah, I haven't gotten there yet, so don't spoil it for me. I'm, I'm only a couple episodes into season two. I'll get there in time. I do... I mean, I can't say I do relate to... Luz too much, but I kind of do a little bit because I was nerdy and I still kind of am hence why I'm on Twitch and I play games <laughs> so I do relate to her as well 
I was really liking the twins, like, uh, Amity's siblings at first until I realized that they were troublemakers and I was like, oh, maybe not. God, I wanted to like them. Maybe they get better later. I don't know, but as of right now, eh, not sure how I feel about the siblings. The twins. I'm still in season one. <laughs> it's okay. To be fair, I binge watched season one all in like, I don't know, a, a two days. That was when I didn't have quite as much going on, and now I am booked. <laughs> so much to do. A lot of my time has gone to creating tutorials for everybody. And those tutorials are not doing too hot. Like, on YouTube, they're doing consistently well. On TikTok, on the other hand, ugh. Not so much. <laughs> I'm trying, though. I got so many requests for them that I thought, like, more people would be excited. And I'm sure they are if they would know about it, but like I said at the start of stream, my TikTok for you page at the moment is nothing but TikTok shop. What? What? Am I still going? Why did I just lose power? Hello? Ah! Okay. Uh, what? What is going on? Okay. I don't know what just happened, but I think we got it fixed. There we go. I think we're good. I don't know what happened. I'm so sorry about the little technical difficulty. Uh, is the light being mean? I don't know. It was like I heard a bang out in the kitchen and then all of a sudden my lights turned off. And it wasn't just my two lights that I have on either side. It was also my bedroom light. So I don't I don't know what happened, but, but it's situated now. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, I'm still trying to support you on all your streams and stuff. I really appreciate it, Sapphire. I always see you around. Literally. <laughs> I see you on Minecraft all the time, too. And there has been talk about you potentially being staff if you want to and have the time on Minecraft for when that finally is up and running because you have been on the server so much already and you've already been super helpful on it. Okay, this is my first three color challenge, I think all complete. I think that's good. I don't know if I see anything else that I really need to add details to. But now, it's gonna be time for the other one. But we're gonna take a quick break to show you Another piece that I'm proud of that I did recently because you haven't gotten to see it on a stream yet. I mean, you've seen it in videos and stuff, but look at the glitter on the tails. Ugh. This is the thing that videos and photos just usually don't capture very well, is the glitter, the shine. It's blinding. So freaking pretty. Also, the colors are not quite right. I feel like they are washed out a little bit on stream but my god I love them anywho it is time for new colors we're keeping these two white ones or not white ones but clear ones the colorless ones and I'm putting away the R18 I'm gonna pull out my 
skin tone marker set and we're gonna choose another one for my other gal this is the other one that I'm going to be working on the dedication you had to the glitter on that piece that was a mix of oh oh yeah uh, are, are you talking about the fact that I painted with my finger yeah because <laughs> the folk art glitter paint is fantastic when it is fresh but if you let it sit for like a year that glitter paints awful after a year you can't you, it's all clumpy and chunky and it just sucks so yeah not too great after a year of sitting yeah no kidding i have a question who's your favorite animal crossing character bruce hands down bruce bruce is my favorite he's my boy i love him so so much um, he was the first villager that I got close to on a different world. I think it was New Leaf. New Leaf was when I started really developing like, a love for Bruce. Because I took care of him when he was sick. And then he became super sweet to me after that and would always come over to my house. We would always hang out together. He was like my first Animal Crossing bestie. So he has a special place in my heart. So he's my favorite now. I would not typically go for a cranky, but that's what I ended up getting. All right, round two. We're coloring this gal. So I, you can see here, I cannot see. My face is over here, so I cannot see what color I'm picking here. Why 145? I don't know what that color is. So where is my bookmark? I'm gonna get a new bookmark for this new three marker challenge. Hydrate and the posture check already. Hello, Skinner. I was bringing you up briefly earlier. I don't think I mentioned you by name, but your little plague doctor character. Somebody mentioned that they had a plague doctor OC, and I thought of you instantly. Water. I have my water. And now I'm moving this girl. Up to the side where, oh my gosh, her lips are so shiny. It looks like I didn't color them. <laughs> her lips are so blinded. Can I like turn her a different direction where, oh no. <laughs> okay, what if I put her on the other side? I'm going to put her on the other side. And thank you for the head pat. Um, I'm just working myself so, oh, I'm just working myself so here to lurk. But these are looking great, thank you. I just finished this one and I just pulled my first color for the second one, which is this. And I don't know what this color is. It is titled Buttercup Yellow. Oh, so it's like a muted tan color. So that is color number one. Thank you for the head pads. Color number one. I'm gonna reach behind me. Pull out my next color. I'm kind of hoping for greens for her. <gasps> no shit. <laughs> oh, I completely manifested that one. Oh my gosh. I got her rising green. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. Can't believe I ma manifested that one. That was cool. Okay, last one. Hi, hi. Last color. I got Quince, which is Y4, which appears to be yellow, but I think this is more of an orange. Okay. But the cool thing about getting these, oh, you know what, those might actually end up mixing to make this type of a color. So I don't know how that's gonna go. I was really manifesting the green and I wanted green so bad. So here are my colors. I'm gonna try layering real quick. 
I want to see what happens if I layer the green over the orange and vice versa. Oh, I can see what happens with the other colors too. Hang on. I'm doing tests. It's testing time. It's time to test. Okay, so I need green over orange, tan over orange. Green over tan, orange over tan. This will be tan over green. Okay, I think I think I have the colors I need. I love that basically minty green. It is a very nice minty green. So it makes it darker, which I was expected. the orange over the tan. I could use that for highlights. I don't have a way to do blush this time, which is a little sad, but, um, okay. Tan over orange. That was expected. I knew it was going to be darker. So I could do red hair for her. I realized I colored in her iris, so she's not gonna... She's not gonna really have a colored eye. And sometimes I feel like... I feel like I sometimes need to layer these like a lot before I get a true color. Cause that looks gray almost on my camera. What if I layer the tan over top of it? Kind of makes a muted green. Kind of cool looking. What if I layer another thing of green on top? Then I can blend that out. <laughs> Ignoring the fact that I pink on the other side. I like doing little tests like this when I have limited colors. I didn't do it for this because, frankly, the colors I had, it was going to be pretty obvious what I could do. But with these, these are pretty different. So, testing was inevitable. I think I'm going to do the same thing that I did last time. Oh, man, I'm so scared. Um, let me erase over her really fast. Do I have an eraser? Yes, I do. Why I am doing this is to pick up any excess ink that might be left on the page for whatever reason, because I did draw straight with pen with this piece. I only have to do this when I work traditionally. So once I feel like she's good to go, I can go in with color. And I guess the moment of truth, whether she's going to smear or not, is uh, coming. And I'm just going to keep my other gal on screen here because she's cute and deserves some attention. <laughs> Uh, number one favorite color is definitely purple, but number two has to be some sort of minty green. That is so fair. Minty green is very pretty. I mean, I'm not a big green person, but minty green or like aquas and teals, I do like. Usually they have to be more on the blue side. Um, the other one I really like is forest green. I mean, green is slowly growing on me. I do use it a lot in my work, but like... I don't know. Uh, okay. I gotta get over my fear here. <laughs> uh, I just remembered I have to do my Duolingo. What are you, what are you learning? What language? That's a 
kind of make sure all the pink is off this colorless blender because I obviously didn't do that before. Okay. A moment of truth. It's going to be so hard to saturate this. Honestly, I shouldn't have really started with the ear. I should have started with her face. So far, so good. I don't see any smearing. Uh, I'm learning Japanese. Ooh, fun. I really want to learn another language. I would prefer to learn sign language, though. I used to work right by a school of the deaf, and I would come across people who were hard of hearing or just who couldn't hear at all, and communicating with them was really difficult, and I felt bad, and I really wanted to learn back then, but finding classes, just, it, I couldn't find hardly anything. Couldn't find things I could afford. <laughs> It baffles me that it's not something that's considered taught in schools. I would love to have something like that taught in schools. Oh man, that ink is going fast. How quickly that saturated my white pen. Or white marker. I am so scared that this drawing is going to go by really, really fast. just in general practice too because in loud places sign language can come in handy for me when you uh don't want to talk and can be said yeah 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 or like if you're at a concert imagine how much easier it'd be like instead of yelling at your friend at the top of your lungs and losing your voice imagine just being able to use sign language to chat with your friend and tell them what's up Like that, too. Can I just say I love this gal's side profile so much? looks so nice. One of my biggest insecurities of my own is I have a chin that kind of juts out a little bit and my mom points it out and it does make me a bit self-conscious because it's like, oh, you kind of have your father's chin. I don't really want to hear that. Um, or like, I wish you didn't have your father's chin because it's juts out. It doesn't even jut out that far. If you've seen selfies of me, you don't notice it. I didn't really notice it until she pointed it out. Like, it, it hardly sticks out. <laughs> but it is more so than, like, other, other chins. It's just, like, subtle. So I would kill to have a chin that's just kind of flat and not something that sticks out like this this is nice I like that I like that profile uh what do you like most about yourself maybe it's cliche but my eyes because my eyes are kind of a golden hazel color my eye doctor refers to it as amber or at least my previous eye doctors have referred to it as amber and it's just like this pretty gold color. It's not so noticeable when I'm indoors. But when I am in like sunlight and stuff, it's noticeable. It's, it's kind of similar to that of hazel where indoors it looks brown. But outside it looks 
hazel. I like in certain lighting. I've been told I have hazel or amber eyes. Those are the two that I get told most often. Because there is the tiniest, teeniest amount of green that's like hardly even noticeable right around the very edge of my iris. It's so little, in fact, that I don't even think it can count as hazel. Because it's so, so small. Okay, it's a little bit muddied, so I have to keep working with it. Um, I've got blue eyes, but for some reason, only recently, I've been made aware I have a slightly different size pupils. Uh, yeah, I wear glasses, and you'd think they'd notice more than urology, yeah? That's kind of weird. Hopefully that's nothing bad, I would hope. Having two different sized pupils, I feel like I've been... I've heard somewhere that that's not a good thing. But I'm also not an eye doctor, so I don't know. <laughs> ah! This is why I don't like the tip-to-tip -tip blending method too much. It's unpredictable and it's so much easier just to blend the colors <laughs> without. But like, I know it's all I've got to work with right now, so. I'm doing my best just. Uh, I don't think it's a affected me bad. Well, that's good. I hope it continues to be like nothing. <laughs> The one thing I did already notice about this paper, <laughs> it's like bending. I want to try adding a bit of that orange highlight to this side. Just to add a little bit of extra interest to her face. That's a little bit of something. Soften it up just a smidge. Whenever I say smidge, I always think of one of my mutuals. Because <laughs> they're known as smidge art. And that's all I can think of. Okay, let's try that again for the ear and her neck. Although I might, hang on, I want to try and fix right here. Because right here is bugging me. I feel like this takes the longest, just waiting for the ink. So I'm gonna first start on her neck. And once I notice, start to go, notice it start to go lighter, I'm just gonna add a little bit here. Okay, I think I fixed it. She looks so precious, thank you.
not colors. I mean, actually, you know what? I would kind of put these colors together. Orange and green are very, very nice together. Very pretty indeed. Thank you. Let's add that orange highlight right there as well. Uh, I really am afraid to take that risk. I was considering putting a little bit on her cheek, but I quickly decided not to. <laughs> Three marker challenges are pretty relaxing. I feel like I can get done with them a little bit quicker because I have less colors to work with while when I'm working with a lot of colors, I feel a tad bit overwhelmed, if that makes sense. It's like more colors to work with, making sure you're choosing the best of all the colors you have. Meanwhile, when you're limited, you're kind of just stuck with what you've got. Like, oh, well, it is what it is. Gonna make the most of what I've got. By the way, if you're curious what pen I used to draw this with, it was not a Micron. I used a Papermate Flare pen. I fell in love with these when I was working the voting booths. Uh, cause that was the pens that we would give to people to, uh, you know, cast their ballots, but I was kind of just in the meantime when we didn't have any people because I worked at a very slow one where we didn't have a whole lot of people. Uh, when it was slow, I would just kind of doodle. I had a little sketchbook because there were no f phones allowed at all in the room. So I would have my sketchbook and I would just draw with a pen. And I fell in love with the pens then, so I bought a whole set. And then I was gifted a set from Miss Koala, who is another fellow streamer here on Twitch. All right. Now, what do I want to do? Ow, ow. <laughs> I have to readjust here. My butt hurts. Who's messaging me? Shush. Shush. Get out of here. Get out of here. Can't you see? I'm busy. Um, I love my microns, but I do sometimes love a classic pen feel. Well, this wasn't even a classic pen because this... Oh, shoot. Hang on. This is what it was. I drew with this, the Papermate Flare pen, and it's not a standard pen because it's got a completely different tip. It's a felt tip, but it was really nice to work with. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I think I am going to use a little bit of this green just to add some extra depth to her shadows. Trust the process. It's fine. Just trust it. It's going to be okay. I know right now it's scary. Right now, it's like, why is she adding green? It's gonna make sense. Thank you for the headbands. Don't you worry your little heads. It's, it's fine. I am a professional, except for I'm not a professional. I just, I do this for fun. Although, I guess I could be considered a professional now, huh? I'm <laughs> coming out of, with a coloring book. So I guess that does kind of make me professional. So, now that I have that laid down, I'm going to go back in with my 
tan or my buttercup yellow, my skin tone. And I'm gonna just go over that, though it might still be a little bit too wet. Maybe I should have let it dry a little bit longer. Because it's not going over how I was expecting it would. Hmm. This might be a layering process. <laughs> Those are nice. They are really nice. Oh, her eyebrow being that teal. I already imagined the red yellow hair for her, so yeah, I'm not I'm not even gonna deny that one. Um, okay. <laughs> ah Dry. I need you to dry. Faster, my friend. Faster. Does anybody have any exciting artworks that you're working on or anything you feel comfortable telling me about? What, what, what are you all working on? Is anybody drawing while they have my stream up? What you doing? By the way, I just want to make this very clear. I appreciate anyone who comes into my streams if you come in and you just lurk and you don't interact with chat you are valid if you come in and you interact with chat you are valid if you come in for 30 minutes you are valid like i i appreciate it anyone who can stop in say hi anything and i know i i say this pretty often i know that everybody has stuff going on in their life so it is okay if you cannot make it to every stream don't feel bad if you miss out on a stream. You are fine. We're busy. We've got lives. I feel kind of bad because the other day I was lurking in Threadwing's stream and I wasn't doing any modding because I was working on a drawing. It happens. Stuff happens. It's okay. Wait, where's that minty green color? It's not really mint, but oh no, it's not this one. It's this one. So it doesn't look, well, it might look the same as the color. Yeah, I guess it does. Okay, yeah, that works. <laughs> is this my, is that a pretty close match to the orange? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, I'm studying for school right now, but been working on a piece with some koi fish. Ooh, I have low key been wanting to work on a piece with koi fish too. I have so many ideas, but not enough time. <laughs> Where is my green? I want my green sparkly pen. Do I really need the green sparkly pen? And I'm, am I going to use it for anything, or do I just want it? Where? Hello? Wait. Where... I don't see it in here. But if it's not in here, where is it? My green pen is hiding from me. Fine. Fine. You are not going to be included then. Forget you. Alright. So, for her hair, I think I am going to do the tip-to-tip -tip blending method again to try and get a better blend. Or better like lighting because I kind of was missing out on that last time if you're wondering if there's a certain amount of time that you're supposed to hold for I I could count I should probably count and get a blend chart set up but <laughs> I, I haven't, so I'm just winging it. Oh, well, I'm already out of that orange, so I need more. Next 
I was hoping to get a better light source, maybe. Or not a light source, but a better lighting effect by doing this. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to pull it off, though. Because the difference is I'm trying to get the light area immediately versus working dark to light. Because if I do this and I go over the lightest area, it's going to be the darkest shade. So I need to go backwards. There we go. That worked. Uh, I'm doing a cat doodle and worked on a commission today. Ooh, Grace, are you already a part of the Discord? Did you happen to find it to post your art in there? Congrats on the commission, by the way. Those are hard to come by nowadays. I have one other person lined up right now, potentially, and that's Sapphire. After I get done with the ones I've been working on. Yes, I did. Ooh, sweet. So I can check it out later. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I am really bad about being active in my Discord, but I try my best. I have a lot of stuff to balance. <laughs> so like my one friend, like one of my best friends since seventh grade. Um, her name is Jackie. I was telling her everything that I've got on my plate right now and she was like, Kara, I love you, but you've got so much going on. Make sure you take a day to relax or something. And I'm just sitting here like I don't have a day to relax. I have to put out content every day. Um, I'm about to resort to doing little like pen doodles. <laughs> I don't know if people would be into those, but maybe. Ah, okay. I think I got all the light colors that I wanted. Ah, 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 I just put a dot on her leg. It looks like a freckle. I can cover that up. <laughs> oh no. Okay, this looks kind of nice. I can use the, uh, well, I don't remember what the name of it was. Um, that tan marker. I can use that to add some shadows into her hair. Or I could go green and keep the same undertone. Hello, is that Kimoko? Kinoko. Hello, welcome to my cosmos. Thank you for the follow. How did you find me? Oh, you know what? This works really well. I have the green and I have the orange and it's cliche, but it's also very, very true. <laughs> um, green and red hair go so, so nicely together. Uh, hey, LOL. So you were live from YouTube. Hadn't been able to catch a stream before now. Oh, welcome in. I'm glad you were finally able to catch one. I am a variety streamer, so I do kind of a mix of games as well as art. Um, this coming Thursday, I will be doing a Minecraft stream with friends where I put them into a maze with a warden. It's a fun time and a fun little challenge. Um, but that's what I'm doing this Thursday. It's kind of turned into Sundays are art stream days and Thursdays are game days. But sometimes the Thursdays are also art days. It really depends on what's going on and what I'm in the mood for. 
I do a lot more art than anything else. But today I'm doing three marker challenges. So the first one, the first set of three markers, uh, I did her. Oh, it's not three markers, it's three colors. So this is the first set of colors that I had and that's what I ended up doing with them. And now I'm creating this gal and the colors I have are right here. And I did allow myself one skin tone per set, which is why I have a skin tone in each set because I have an earth tone thing and it's just whatever I draw, whatever colors I drew. The drawing that I'm working on right now is kind of a backup if I had more time on stream and luckily I did. So this girl is actually getting colored finally. She was a pen doodle at one point, just randomly sitting here one day and I was like, I wanna draw with pen. So I picked up my paper mate, pair, well, the paper mate flare pen and I just started going at it. Not sponsored, I just really like the pen. <laughs> Uh, I have to go eat dinner. Bye. Bye, Selena. Thank you for stopping in and following and hanging out. Hope to see you again soon. I've been giving um, little tips here and there on how to work with alcohol marker as well. So if you have any questions, do feel free to ask. Add a star. Oh, okay. Uh, where do I add a star on her? <laughs> she doesn't give me star vibes. But what I might end up doing is adding sweater details onto her, maybe. I'm trying to figure out where, what, what's going on? She's a side profile, but like, why do I have the arm so far down? Her shoulder should be up here, not down here. I'm confused. Um, either way, we are going to add a star onto this because it was redeemed. So I'm just going in with my paper mate flare pen again because I'm keeping with the theme here. And there's the star. Hydrate, thank you for the hydrate. I nearly unplugged my <laughs> my headset. Stretch. Ugh. If you insist. Let me see how much my back cracks today. Mm. Ow. No back crack, but I really need it to. Oh, now this is gonna bother me. Whoa. Hang on. I don't know. I don't know what I did with her arm here. I feel like it's super far down. Like, I don't think it's supposed to be that far down. So it looks really funky. I wonder if I could put stickers on her. Like, do I have flower stickers? Ooh. Ooh, hang on. Let me look at my sticker drawer. Oh my god. Um, I don't think I have flower stickers. <laughs> I think. <laughs> um, I got a lot. Of <laughs> I I have a lot of galaxy stickers that doesn't that doesn't fit the vibe for this drawing unfortunately oh yeah you can hear these crunchy noises <laughs> do I have any other stickers in here that I could possibly use no I have prints Wait, I bought these. No, not the Christmas stickers. I don't want Christmas. It's. I have these. It's a pretty minty color. I also have orange. So I could play around with a couple of those. Do some mixed media stuff. 
Do I have anything in here? I used to have a ton of stickers. I don't know where they all went. Oh. Oh, hi, I have another set of stickers. Huh, I can play with those. I'll play with these. I could turn them into hair clips or gems or other stuff. I mean, they are gems, but little like earrings or clips. Let's add some shadows into her hair. I kind of want... Okay, I was a huge Star Wars nerd growing up, right? I kind of want to watch The Clone Wars because I know they had an... I think it was an animated, uh, animated series that was The Clone Wars. But I never actually watched it. So I think once I finish The Owl House, that's going to be my next task. I, I know I am years late. I know. I am often late to things. <laughs> oh, I hear fireworks going off again. Oh yeah, a lot of people are off work tomorrow. I forgot. Oh yeah. I was sitting here like, like how are people off work tomorrow? And then I remembered, oh yeah, Memorial Day, because I was reminded of that earlier. I forgot people got that day off work. How's that looking? I think I need to add a couple shadows to the roots of her hair. And I mean, her shirt's gonna be this green color. I don't really have any other option. I feel like I need to go over her brow again. I'm gonna try and go over the green on her skin too. I'm trying to really make it look less green. Okay, well now I need to create more drawings to do more of these three marker challenges because they're so much fun and I forgot how easy they are. I mean, they aren't easy, easy. They're still ch like quite challenging, but they're quick to do compared to other pieces I've done. Oh, wait, 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 before I color. Pencil, pencil, pencil eraser, something. I need something. Where is my eraser? I had you earlier, hello. You're gonna hear me digging around in my pencil case. Cause I just added some fresh lines of ink. There we are. Look at me using the chisel nib for once in my life. myself I didn't get super duper distracted by my phone this time around when doing a traditional stream and I also got a little mark of green right there good job good job Kara thank you for the heart sapphire fine. I can fix it. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Don't panic. I'm gonna add. Oh, my Fitbit's telling me it's time for bed. <laughs> not yet. I'm not going to bed yet. Calm down. Um. I'll just put a white, or not a white, but a uh, colorless blender over it. I'm attempt to do stripes. Yeah, those look nice. I feel like brown and mint always go really well together, color-wise. Very, very great combination. I don't really know what to do about that star because it's just so random, but somebody did redeem a star, so I'm going to try adding a couple more. And I'm just going to attempt to make it work. the green again to add a shadow to her eye. Actually, I'm going to use green and a little bit of the tan. And then I'm going to use my colorless blender and blend it out a little bit. Just so it's not super intense. I think for this one, I'm going to refrain from, wait, your power is still out? What? What do you mean my power is still out? I think, I think I'm still fine. From what I can see on my screen, I'm all right. Sapphire, can can you confirm is stream is stream okay looking? <laughs> is it fine? Or is something wonky going on? Because now I'm anxious about it. I'm gonna add some texture into her sweater shirt thing. A little bit of cross hatching. I'm getting a little nervous working over over top of that one. Everything seems good. Okay. I just got a little concern. I'll tell you, my throat is kind of still hurting from King of the Castle. 
But that was such a fun game and I really do kind of want to play with everyone again. If you missed out on the King of the Castle stream, no worries. Uh, but it was a lot of fun and I hope you can go to the next one. I haven't decided when that's going to be. But I definitely want to do it again. <laughs> I think I need to give my voice a little bit of rest before I do that. Artist, can you relate if you're a traditional artist? Do you ever just put the caps to your markers in your mouth? Because I swear I do that too often. Like I can easily put it on the end of my pen. And I just did because I noticed I had it in my mouth. And it's like, <laughs> oh, I can't really talk very well if I have a pen in my mouth. I do that all the time. When I'm recording videos, I have marker caps in my mouth because I'll take my caps off with my teeth to record a video because I usually use my left hand to hold my phone and then I use my mouth to take off my marker caps <laughs> and then I end up splattering ink or drawing on myself on accident when I go to put the marker back oh my all the time I am so glad I'm not alone I mean I had a feeling I wasn't alone but oh my god. <laughs> it drives me nuts. I also don't know if I'm going to keep. I kind of want to give her actual gem earrings. Oh, I have a missing one. Who needs tweezers when you've got fingernails? She's got an actual gem for an earring. I'm literally just taking them off one by one with my nail. And would you believe it only takes like a month for my nails to grow like this? And somehow I keep them this long despite working a job where I unload trucks for a living and stock shelves. Like those nails do not look like they do the work that they do. But whenever I break one, I'm like, eh, whatever. I don't cry about it. I don't really care. They just kind of, I'm lazy, so I don't cut my nails very often. Unless one breaks. And then I'm like, well, I like them all to be the same length. So, they're getting chopped. <laughs> okay, back in the baggie. Back in the protective sleeve. I might add a couple crystals to this gal, since I have them out. I have these ones that I could add to her. But first, I think I need to color the background in. And I'm leaning towards just doing a solid teal background because there's enough of a breakup with her hair that's not going to be too overwhelming, I hope. Oh, now that I'm actually coloring it, I'm a little concerned. Maybe it is a little bit much. Oh, well, I've already started. Can't really go back now. It's already in motion. <laughs> and then I'm going to add some extra loose strands of hair to her. being so careful not to get it on this piece since I've already gotten ink on that one okay yeah I need to I need to use my chisel chisel nibs are really nice because you do have the points on the end where you can get into fine spots but you also have the wide spaces where it's easier to fill in and cover up large areas. 
I usually just kind of prefer to use a brush tip for blending and coloring in because it's a little bit smoother, I feel like. Uh, my phone sees, so I had to move our laptop. No worries. I'm only a little confused. <laughs> You know who I haven't seen all stream? Aside from Baco. Um, I haven't seen Finch. I wonder what Finch is up to. I hope they're doing all right. I feel like I haven't seen Burb a lot lately. Like, on occasion, I'll see them, but the five birds in a trench coat. Uh, how's the stream? Is it all right? Nah, we're not all right. Isn't that how it usually goes? Something always happens. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes. I needed those orange strands st orange strands of hair. I have been so in love with adding extra extra strands of hair lately. Like more than I would usually add. I don't know if anybody saw it on my recent like uh, makeup filters design a character for me challenge but I went ham on the hair strands on that one like baby hairs and all which I should really start doing more of anyway but yay I want to add some extra details to her. I don't need these colors anymore, but I need to leave this one off to the side so that it ends up in the right case. Goodbye markers. And hello. Ooh, I have my glittery pen still. Oh, I stopped to add white highlights. Duh. I'm not quite done yet. I mean, I like how she looks as is. <laughs> but. I'm gonna add a little bit of extra stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I'm gonna go back and make that slightly smaller. Oh, I forgot. You can't really... I don't know if I'm going to be able to do my stars on her hair. Because the issue I have with these pens, like, I love them. They are great to color over. But they are not good for the white gel pens because just like with the Ahuhu markers, these Papermate Flare pens kind of soak up the ink. So, oh, I don't know. Also, thank you for the head pads. Thank you, Grace. <laughs> Eesh. Oh, now I'm regretting this. Can I, like, push it and not mess it up too much? I think I kind of got it to work. We're gonna try a star on her hair, and if it doesn't work... Oh, 
Yeah, see, it just picks up the ink. <gasps> oh! Wait! No! Ah! What do I do? Oh no! Wait! Ah! Um... Mm. I don't know if it's just me, but I did five drawings today. I did... I technically didn't draw any. I have only colored. Oh, no, 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 that's not true. I was working on another one earlier, too. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about this. I messed her up. And I'm trying to figure out what to do. I didn't mean to do that little smear. I was just trying to add a white. Wondering, hang on. I might have to add a couple strands of orange. That's fine if I do. I can add some like darker strands in here to try and fix what I have caused. It might be a couple darker strands, but it's it's fine. I. It'll, it'll work, right? I just cannot add stars into her hair. Not with this one. I'm gonna color in this, these few strands here. I'm gonna just do a couple of these here and there. Adds a little bit of extra depth and covers up my mistake. This is live <laughs> Kara fixing mistakes on stream. So if you ever wonder if I do make mistakes, I do. I just find ways to conveniently cover them up. Ah, got on my hand. Can do this one. I think it's this strand here, but I can't really tell. I don't always link up strands. Sometimes it's just random. Uh, I haven't done any drawings today. It's okay. You don't have to draw every day. Heck, I don't draw every day. Also, I just, <laughs> I just love to mark on this drawing again. And that one's going to be a pain to cover up because it's one of these pens. I keep hearing the fireworks every now and again. I low-key want to go for a drive just to see the fireworks. Okay. Um, I don't, I might be able to just pick up the ink with a pen with this one. Uh, I'm going to use the other tip. <laughs> if this doesn't work, then I'm going to just cover it with a white jelly roll pen. It's fine. And it also looks like I'm making it worse. I'm not. It's just the ink is wetting the page. I think I might have gotten it to go away. I'll be able to tell more once it's dry. Continue adding some more orange streaks in here to hide my mistake. Also, it kind of ties in those orange streaks just a smidgen better. And I also realized I didn't do an orange highlight. Hang on, where's that Y for? Here it is. We're gonna add some orange right in here too. I can't believe I almost <laughs> said I was done with this drawing. I clearly wasn't. So 
that noise always throws me off in Animal Crossing. Where is that even from? Where is that little, like, noise from? I don't know. Uh, only reason why I draw every day is because I am in school on summer, or I am in school on summer break. I get bored. You know what? That's weird. I don't have time because I'm usually working and stuff. I miss being younger because I used to have so much more free time. I used to, I, I've never been a huge fan of summer because I don't care for heat and I like covering up. So I like the fall and winter clothes, but what I do miss is having so much free time. I mean, I would go to summer camps and stuff, but that was about it. And that wasn't an all the time thing. That was like every few weeks. Also, <laughs> did you notice? It's slowly going away. It's slowly fading. I think this will be my last streak, maybe? Added uh, quite a bit of depth. I like it. <laughs> oh, no, I want to add a streak up here. All right. <laughs> clean up, clean up. That's one thing I hate about traditional art. There's so much cleanup involved. I want to add... I don't know where I can really add these on this girl. So for maybe I could add a couple. Yeah. I am overall really happy with how both of these turned out. Like I said, for this girl, I would not have chosen these colors for the galaxy vibes. But they were fun, and I can always, always color her again. Um, especially with the book coming out and all. <laughs> I'm gonna add, and I'm literally covering up something that I colored in, but. Couple of little gems here and there. None just for funsies. I'm gonna add one to all four corners. Can I do it in all four corners? Yes. Hey! Can you behave for me? I like gems. I like sparkly shiny. I am a very simple person. I see sparkly, I happy. I will even purposefully go out of my way to get myself covered in glitter at my job. <laughs> it's especially bad during the holidays. What is your job? I work at a craft store. Um, I unload trucks for a living and stock shelves and set up shelves and ring register. Um, I work a very average, boring job. 
I would love to be able to do art full time someday. But alas, it is not that time. So someday, someday I will get there. Bum, bum, bum. I think I'm going to be ending stream there. We're really close to time anyway. But we're going to be going and giving love to another artist. So if you are into art, definitely stick around. Um, because we're just going to be going to a different art stream. It's fine. <laughs> but we're going to be raiding Lita, who does traditional art. She is currently doing some watercolor and has amazing artwork. So join me in giving them all the support and all the love. And remember, I do have a raid emote, so feel free to spam that little raid emote when you end up being transferred over. I will see you all again on Thursday for a Minecraft stream, and I hope to see you all then. I hope you enjoy the artworks that we made today, and I will see you later. Bye!